Hello, internet friends. Welcome to Quests in Chaos. I am your keeper, Ezra Denny. My name, my pronouns are he, him, and this is the Great Dane Society. Hi. And we are playing Call of Cthulhu. Thank you so much for joining us. We are playing Horror on the Orient Express, <laughs> the classic Chaosium module. And I am gonna keep the keep the train moving. We're being streamed live on YouTube, which you may notice. Please, if you get a chance, give us a like and a subscribe on YouTube. And if you really want to support us, please consider becoming a YouTube member and or, not just or, and or joining our Patreon. Uh, our tavern upkeep, which we keep track of monthly, is already 38%. And what, it's the fourth? So that's that's not bad. Uh, and that's how we keep the lights on in the studio. And there are a lot of lights in this studio. So uh, the more that you, that we appreciate everything that our Patreons do for us. Uh, our Patreons get a little after show after every episode, uh, 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 after dark. So stick around for that, Patreons. Uh, and uh, we've got already some bits from our fine wow. Patreons. We have... From our buddy Squeal the Bard, we have two coins. I'm not. It's, yeah, I'm already got You're just damage. goading me now. <laughs> oh, that just went right over. Here, try again. Oh, wow. No, no I'm out of practice. We have two cheese coins. <laughs> cheese coins. What? <laughs> Limburger. Uh, to Ezra to drive them cray cray. Oh yeah. Which. I'm not sure I can, I don't think I can pull cray cray off. <laughs> and then we have- One cray. <laughs> cray, comma, cray. And then we have two coins from our buddy Seth to the Sword Cane Society. Oh, yeah. oh Ooh, terrible throw. Sword I, I've gotten canes, better sword at the Sword Cane, Sword Cane, Sword Cane. Sword, sword Mallet. Sword Mallet. <laughs> Polo. <laughs> the, the Sword Mallet. Oh, dear. Sword Mallet Society. Uh, so, as we said last time, every episode, one of our players, one of our awesome players, is going to give us a summary of the last episode from their character's perspective. So, just to be clear, this, may or, this could be the least reliable narrator uh, possible, uh, but whatever, mm. the players can just give us what they want, and today, Pooja is going to give us <laughs> thank you, thank the you. summary from Erna's point of view. That's right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me get my screen <laughs> oriented correctly. I arrived in London on January 1st after receiving an invitation from Dr. Julius Smith, an old friend of my father's and an expert in debunking paranormal activity. My first stop was the Oriental Club, an adventure society to which Dr. Smith is a member. As I was waiting for the professor to arrive, I was shocked to see that he had also invited my dear Uncle Rudy, who I have not seen for many years. I'm afraid I bumbled through that reunion, though, truth be told, I was so excited to see him that I couldn't quite think straight. Before we could speak much, we were joined by two more of Dr. Smith's guests, Reginald Vernon Sterling and Charlie Afton. I was immediately charmed by Charlie's kind demeanor and his Aww. sharp and discerning mind. Mr. Sterling, less so. <laughs> Soon after, the professor himself arrived and gave us all a warm welcome. Dr. Smith generously preferred invitations to his lecture along with room and board at the plaza. We had a pleasant dinner, after which Dr. Smith excused himself for the evening. I probably should have gone to bed myself, but Charlie and Reggie brought up the idea of going to a pub, and as it is my first time in London, I thought it a thrilling idea. Uncle Rudy was kind enough to chaperone, though I fear he and Mr. Sterling may be coming down for something, as I saw them both using his cough drops. <laughs> Reginald immediately made friends with everyone by getting the entire bar around on him. After my second beer, I got quite sleepy and don't remember much of the rest of our time at the pub, though I think there was some mention of bedroom jousting. <laughs> the next day, <clears throat> the next day I've been shopping with Uncle Rudy for a rather exciting specialty item, a sword cane. <laughs> he purchased three for himself and one for me. Mother would frown, but I could not refuse such a gift. And besides, if I am sneaky enough, she will never have to know. We've written <laughs> some, uh, some sword practice before the lecture and Uncle Rudy says, 
I am a natural. Finally, the night of Dr. Smith's lecture arrived. While the first half discussed the falsity of various paranormal claims, the second half delved into what the professor calls epiphenomena, supernatural occurrences that he has spent a good deal of time quantifying in an attempt to prove their existence. I found this interesting, if a bit far-fetched, until he brought up hauntings, instances of people or objects disappearing and then reappearing briefly after the course of years. He believes that these hauntings appear from and are evidence of a hidden world. As he spoke, I couldn't help but think of my own father, who had disappeared mysteriously some years ago. Could he have become one of these hauntings? Was he trapped in this hidden world? Shaken by these revelations, I confronted Dr. Smith, who admitted in a roundabout way that he had made a similar connection, though he had not found any solid evidence to support this theory. Still, I could not allow this trial to run cold like all the others, and I acquired a promise from Dr. Smith that he would allow me to look through his research. I'm afraid I was more brusque with him than is my vaunt, but I cannot find it in myself to regret it. This is a matter beyond propriety. The next morning, we went to Dr. Smith's office. He was not in, claiming weariness after a night of celebrations. We tried his home next and found it likewise abandoned, though Uncle Rudy knew he kept a spare key under a gnome, and we were able to obtain entry. <laughs> Once inside, we searched to study for any clues. The only item of real interest was an old journal. However, Rudolph was adamant that we not peruse its contents, and almost went so far as to burn it, claiming that some things are better <laughs> left in the past. We were able to convince him to leave it where it was, in the study after agreeing not to look through it, though I cannot deny my all-consuming curiosity. What could be in this journal that my uncle refuses to let us see? After searching his home, we tried the Oriental Club. Unfortunately, he was nowhere to be seen, and growing increasingly concerned, we left a message with the maitre d' to have him contact us at the plaza. We still hadn't heard from him by nightfall and fell to drastic measures, breaking into his office at the university. We were able to obtain his lecture notes and other pertinent materials and made our way back to the plaza, no closer to discovering his whereabouts. This very morning, we awoke to a shocking headline in the papers. Three doppelgangers of a certain Turkish man had been discovered dead in a hotel room nearby. <gasps> in scene. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Setting the bar high. high. <laughs> wow. Oh dear. Wow. <laughs> My plan is to ramble incoherently, so anyone sure. worried about Thomas their is going to cut all of me. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, I want to thank uh, Thomas on the zeros and ones today, helping us out. Uh, and as always, Alondra, who is our producer, who keeps this ship running amazingly, uh, uh, and happy birthday. Uh, <gasps> Uh, it is my beloved wife's birthday, and I send her all of my love. Aww. Which is prodigious. <laughs> prodigious. Quite. It's a lot of love. Uh, it, it's, he spreads it around. Uh, so, uh, that was fantastic. Uh, you... We ended with this press article about man dies three times in one night that you alluded to, uh, and there are a few. There were a few details in here that could be leads for your investigation. Uh, the The room was at the Chelsea Arms Hotel. Uh, it mentions that uh, the na the 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 man, Mr. Macriat, uh, Mehmet Macriat, is a Turkish antique and art dealer with a shop in the city. Fezes. It's true, yes. Um, and uh, it also mentions Inspector Fleming of Scotland Yard, your mm. old friend. And Duke Fleeg is giving the players two bits <gasps> for that marvelous recap. Those are just going to both go yep, right over there. Absolutely. Wow. Way to sing for your supper. <laughs> I'll give you all the recaps you want. <laughs> give me, give me those coins. coins. Give me those coins. coins. As, as I frequently say, I can be bought. <laughs> uh, you said something about um, uh, Inspector Fleming being an old friend of ours? That was a joke because it, Inspector Fleming showed up in the uh, oh. uh, uh, in the massive Nihilitho. He was not a friend. No. Oh. no. Character. He was not. <laughs> but I would, Rudolph, like you to make Ooh. a pow roll I've for never me. gotten any trouble with, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't here. Pow, pow, power roll. Yeah, it was pow, here. Pow. 
Um, oh, wow, I just made it. My pow's low, too. Okay. Regular success. There's something. You got a regular success? Regular success. That's as good as I do. The name For pow. Macriat just, ha there's a dull buzzing in the back of your head that that name means it, it had, it was about something, you know. Have I worked with him? Have I done anything for him? Does he purchase? You, you know, so all you got was a regular success. Oh God, so regular success? that's what you got is that the name, there's just something, that name. If I keep track of my sales and I dig through some old uh Yeah, sure, and... sure. Um Yeah. Uh make me a luck roll. If you chance. No. <laughs> uh, so you have, in fact, done business once with an M. Macriat, mm. and you have an address for the store. Um, but it was, you know, it was a totally innocuous, like, you know, you uh, you you bought a piece from him and then resold it. Mm. Okay. Uh, it was a piece of uh, e uh, of. Um, Anatolian, so early, uh, early Turkey before. Uh, Should I write this down? No. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write that down. Oh. <laughs> this is my research. <laughs> oh, Antonio. Uh, okay. Do I know roughly? Where, was it in this country? Or? Yeah, it was in. It's in London. In London. Yeah, his shop is in London. Oh. Um. Is there a illustration on the? article of like the man or anything like no that? there's no there's no drawing of the man or okay. anything like that no uh new york times pencil drawing because i'm wondering about mustachio mysterioso mm -hmm. and if if that's him uh, but there was something in the uh in the thing that said that um confusingly the real mr macriat or at least the man described by neighboring shopkeepers as mr macriat cannot be found uh he was quite an old man Oh. Mm. Old. And, and okay. Mustachio Furioso was, was not. No. Was not old. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, is this perhaps some evidence of some of the strangeness that Dr. Smith was talking about? Well, it's certainly possible. I mean, three people who all who all say they're the same person and the, the real one is missing. That. I think if we find the real one, we can ask him why there's so many of him. <laughs> I mean, do, do we think this is just a, a case of stolen identity? That someone is, that people are just pretending to be him and... No, I think somebody's trying to kill him and he knows that somebody's trying to kill him. So he hired these people who kind of look like him to... Rich people do this all the time. They hire doubles and, and they send them in their stead. But they all had separate histories, right? Like records of their travels. They all had passports. So they all had passports that said Mehmet Macriat. I so mean, I suppose that could easy be... to get. It's quadruplets. <laughs> all named the same thing? Well, no, but posing as each other. It's possible. Have you hired doubles? No, but... Are you a double? <laughs> <laughs> Reggie's in the Caymans right now. <laughs> Are you the real My dear, I just <laughs> drink doubles. I am not a double myself. Oh, but what if I had a double? Oh, that might be fun. Maybe um, later. I'm going to leave that just lying on the ground where it belongs. So... I could interview a lot of people and see who's the best looking. <laughs> okay, so I, I thought this was the mustache man. And we oh, just had yeah. to wait for the last one of him to die to find Julius. But this is some other guy. Well, I don't want any more people to, to die if it's possible. Well, especially because it's weird, right? <laughs> like this is, you know, I mean, people dying isn't weird, but this is, these are odd circumstances. Yeah. Right? I'd say peculiar. Are, are you picking him up? Are you right? Are you right? <laughs> 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 Here I go. <laughs> Going down the coast in <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so again, you've got, you know, you've got some addresses. You've also still, you could check back on Dr. Smith. Well, we, we have this ongoing memo at the club that he should contact us. I guess, 
at some point we are going to get kicked out of this hotel. <laughs> <laughs> because he only provided so much. Do we know how many days he provided for? Uh, he did a week. And how long have we been here for? We've been here now two days. Okay, so we've got a little bit of time. Um, we leave a note after we've broken, like, hey, sorry you weren't here, went through your stuff. Did not, no, you did not leave the polite burglar note. <laughs> <laughs> Call Ezra. us. I do, I do want to look at these notes, but it, you, this seems more pressing. Um, uh, well, um, I mean, do we think this is related? I mean, I'm very oh, curious yeah. about this. Are we that bored? <laughs> Well, I mean, if, if, I'm never <laughs> bored, <laughs> Professor. Never. I mean, if if it's a matter of just waiting for uh, Professor Smith to turn back up, and we we want to look around and find out a little bit more, but I mean, I admit my intriguing. my professional curiosity mm. is uh, definitely uh, peaked, hmm. shall we say? Um, well, in there, and there was the Fez thing at his house. There was the article about the Fez murder. Mm. Now this Turkish man. Is uh, things are happening to him? Why did he keep such an old article? In that because he just threw it out recently, right? Is that article? Yeah. Why? Why would he keep it so long and just throw that out? Mm -hmm. Speaking of articles, as you are having this Probably discussion, because he's mentally damaged. Over <laughs> okay, uh, over scones, mm. uh, there's an, a a headline in the newspaper in the Times jumps out at you. Professor's home burns, <gasps> fears for his safety. Professor Julius Arthur Smith, a figure well known in academia, was sought today following the burning of his St. John's Woods home under mysterious circumstances. Did you leave the oven on? Missing. You also, did leave the journal in there, though. <laughs> we did leave the journal in there. Missing also is Dr. Smith's manservant, one James Beddoes. Oh, Witnesses true. saw a man resembling Beddoes run from the house just before the fire broke out. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Dr. Smith or okay. Beddoes is requested to contact Detective Sergeant Rigby at Scotland Yard's Arson Division. Oh dear. Do, uh, is he okay, do you think? <laughs> uh, I mean, he wasn't home when we were there, so... Well, he... his manservant would have carried him out if he was inside. <laughs> so I'm just stuck on the fact that it was no, written manservant. I do, I do agree with that. Of course. Uh, yes, do, that makes sense. He reading, was always diligent. Reading the article, do we get? Do I get the? Do we get the impression that? Because it doesn't say that he's missing. That Professor Smith is missing. They, the article makes it sound like he's a person of interest. Oh. That he might have burnt his. Yeah, they, uh, burnt I mean, there's no down. indication uh, that anyone died right. in in the fire. They specific. The fir very first thing is uh, he was sought today following the burning of his St. John Woods hmm. home under mysterious circumstances. So implicit in that is that his body was not found, I suppose. And, and, and that also he hasn't, that he wasn't the one who ran to Scotland Yard yeah. and was like, my house is burning. Make me whatever journalism, whatever you use for journalism. <laughs> whatever you <laughs> use for journalism. Whatever you do. Hidden, hidden. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, I have a writing for Artcraft. Does that totally. work? Yeah. Uh, that is an 18 out of 35, which is a just regular success. All right. Just um, above a, a hard. Check so it off. this article has some of the wording of a a fishing expedition, mm -hmm. where they are intentionally putting out certain details in hopes, possibly, of getting more information or you know uh, of getting somebody to do something or something like that. It feels it feels like the article is purposefully vague, except where it's detailed. Mm -hmm. They're pushing. Yeah, um, or yeah, or they're yeah, they're they're trying to like make somebody make a move or something. Should we be concerned at all that we've been very visibly looking for Doctor Smith for the past day? As we you say that, should get our stories oh! straight now. We were never. <laughs> I open the door. Hello. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, my name is Constable Smithers, and uh. I was wondering if I might ask you uh, a few questions. Uh, pertaining to what, Constable? Uh, well, the uh, the burning of and dis of his home and disappearance of uh, Professor Julius Arthur Smith. Oh, we just read an article about that. Amazing. Would you like a scone? Come on in. Uh, no, thank you. Not on duty. Uh, <laughs> no scones on duty. Uh, no, no. 
How, um, how, how can we help you, Constable? Well, uh, we've been looking for Professor Smith for some time. Uh, so have we, amazing! Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Why, uh, why did you, uh, enter according to, uh, according to his neighbors, a group rather like you lot was uh, nosing around the professor's backyard. Um, it's, uh... He had sent us an invitation to meet him at, uh, where was it, where was the place that we met him? The lecture. The lecture. The, uh, uh, at the Oriental Club? The Oriental Club. No, not the oh, Oriental no. Club. It the was lecture was... Where his books were. The place we broke into. Oh, the university. And the reason we wanted... Yeah, his the office. university, because someone else can verify that we went there looking for him. Yeah, yeah we've, we've spoken to his place of employment, and I mentioned that yeah. uh, people matching your description had come looking for him. To, to be perfectly honest, sir, we, we did receive an invitation from him, and we could not find him, so we were very concerned. We are, worried about? We are friends of his, and we were worried about him, and honestly, this whole burning thing makes me even more worried about him. Let's see. Well, uh, uh, you got nothing to worry about. It's, this is, I mean, I don't want to say this thing happens all the time, but it's not that surprising. What do you mean? Well, I mean, insurance fraud happens more than you think. Oh, you think there's something afoot. Well, that's the working theory. Uh, now, I just need to know what you lot were doing in the backyard of his of, of his uh, flat. Like we said, we were looking for him. Is that where the gnome was? Yes. Oh, I was getting the spare key. Like we said, friends of his. We go way back. When did you last see Professor Smith? At, uh, at the lecture. Yeah, night before last. So, at the club when he was giving the lecture, okay. And how... Do you know Professor Smith? I used to work at the university uh, many years ago. I see. Okay. Well, uh... I just want to get into his adventuring club. <laughs> I see. Well, if... I'm going to leave my card here. And oh, if, a card. Okay. Thank you, sir. If you hear any, any... If you hear from the professor, please let us know. Uh, we'd very much like to speak to him. Uh, we're a little concerned that this may not be insurance fraud, in which case it's a whole different matter. What 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 sort of things are you seeing that make you worry that it isn't just uh, just fraud? Well, that's Copper's business. Oh yeah, no. Ongoing of investigation. Well, was, I would be surprised just. Uh, at the end of the lecture, he had uh, two individuals speak to him about uh, providing funding. Do you, uh, do you know who those were? It's a uh, gentleman with a very bushy mustache. Oh, a foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> Your word's not mine, friend. <laughs> I mean, technically, you and I are also foreigners. This is true. All no, you're are. colonists. It's a different matter. For what? what? Oh, oh, we're colonists. Colonists. We're right. Yankees. Oh. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration going forward. <laughs> uh, well, okay then. Uh, you all seem semi-appropriately distraught and so worried. Oh. I am actually worried. I am too! I'm, I'm mainly going on her. Yeah. This is my worried face. <laughs> you're actively smiling. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this my is, worried. This is, look at me, I'm worried. You're smiling right now. <laughs> oh. In a different where's, the, where's the doctor? Oh. In, in a different century, I would say you have a Muppet face. <laughs> um. Yes, we are concerned, and uh, we will help in any way we can. Right, as I said, if the professor decides to contact you, since you seem to be, or, or his manservant, uh, right. if either of them contact you, please do let us know. 
uh, it's an ongoing investigation that we would uh, very much like to figure out. Of course. If Berthelsen tells us anything, we'll let you know. Shadows? Right, that's what I said. <laughs> okay. Uh, Thank and, you, sir. Uh, please, if you're gonna leave the city, do let us know as well. Uh, you're not in any way any sort of... Uh, you're not suspects in the case, but you are material witnesses and you were the last people to enter the home that we know of, so... Uh, when you entered the home, anything untoward you noticed? All the ice was melted. Everything lo lo looked like it had been shut up and left. Exactly. The car wasn't there. It, was, it didn't look especially suspicious, but he, he had called in sick at work and then he wasn't at his home, so... Mm. And there was no ice for drinks. And that too. Well, all right. Um, <laughs> thank God. Somebody's taking me seriously. My, uh, my days of taking you seriously are certainly coming to a middle. <laughs> uh, okay, well, uh, you've given me very little to work on. <laughs> I, I, I truly do wish that, that we had more. We're very concerned about him. We are, yes. And if, uh, yes, if there's anything that we can do to help, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let you know if we hear anything. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, good. Have a good day. You, you as well, sir. What a charming fellow. Uh, you absolutely lied about not being out scones on duty. <laughs> 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 Who can't have scones on Maybe duty? Maybe he just doesn't like them, or... He's oh. English, what? <laughs> <laughs> They're scones. <laughs> They're delicious. I wonder, though. Hmm. Because, I mean, if they thought it was just a case of him burning the place down for insurance, it'd be a fairly open and shut case. But he indicated that they think that he might not have been a victim of arson. And that's... Is it something we said? I don't think so. I think that, that was that there was something that they already know. He wouldn't tell us. He wouldn't tell us. Cop a business. Yes. I mean, if he has enough uh, funds to put us up in uh, the plaza for a whole week, that... He doesn't take from his own supply uh, fortune to supply his uh, research, but at least he had enough to uh, supply us with room and board. But, but if he was covering something up? Well, that is certainly a possibility. What if Beto's did it? Hmm. He was kind of an asshole. I mean, he was very grim. Uh, but they seemed like. Well, had he, to he dealt back. with Julius, so we can't be too harsh on him. I mean, a lot of people are assholes. It doesn't necessarily mean to go around burning down buildings. That's true. No, I think it has something to do with the gentleman who approached him. I wanted to believe that calling in sick was him briefly growing a conscience and feeling guilty about what he did. What did he do? What did he do? <laughs> Your eyes got very shifty. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone else see the shifty eyes oh, yeah. no, on no. the professor? I professor, don't. your eyes got very shifty. You... But I don't think that's the case. What is not the case? That your eyes got shifty? Because <laughs> they did. No, no, no. But we're not we're not changing subject. What exactly did he do that yeah, you're so upset about? He's digging up the past. A lot of people do that, myself very much included. Both of you make me psychology rolls. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, including you, Reggie. Oh, oh. Reggie and Charlie for our podcast listeners. Yay, that's why we have these lovely stands to tell you, you know who we are. are. <laughs> like the sad old man. Uh, psychology is a 38 out of 60, which is a regular success. Nice. Okay. Um, when, when you start to press Rudolph on, you know, what happened, like... How do you, like, that's the stress. Mm -hmm. So how does that, like, do you just shut down? What is your... You reach for your, your yeah, drops yeah, and right, they're yeah. gone. <laughs> oh, that would turn the stress up to 12. <laughs> I probably, yeah, it's the, uh, the tooth pills because I grind my teeth. Yeah. So uh, you start grinding your down. teeth? Yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah, there's like, um, you notice like his jaw clenching. 
I don't. No. No. <laughs> no. Are you quite all right, Rudolph? I have a headache. Can you give me a moment? And I'll go get my medicine. All right. <sighs> all right. Well, you... we should. I'm worried about Dr. Smith, but I don't know. I feel like we've exhausted all our leads. Mm -hmm. mm. I know. Do I remember anything about him where he might go? Anything where if he was in trouble, someone he might go to? Hmm. The DM home. <laughs> so, uh, he did have a, um, he had a dive. He had a bedroom. You're, you're not totally sure where. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in a bad part of town. Uh, he used it when, um, well, he used it back in the day. Mm. And you've, you've maybe been once or twice, but you're not, you, you doubt you could like yeah, get there. Yeah, find my way back. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll pass along. Look, he did, uh, when he was younger, he had a place that he would go over in this part of the town. I don't remember where, but he, uh, like a he got house. into something. For lack of a better term, I guess. This is a new concept to me. But uh, you don't know where it is. Just the, the general area. I have a similar summer home in New Jersey. <laughs> yes, an entire home. <laughs> <laughs> it's the safe house. <laughs> it's always safe in New Jersey. <clears throat> We'd like to check out that area. Probably don't dress so nicely. Oh, all right. Dress down. I dress way down. Um, so roll up my sleeves? No. I'm... Well, I, I worry if we don't have a place to go, are we just going to wander around the neighborhood in hopes that we see Dr. Smith? <laughs> wander around the neighborhood yelling, Julius! <laughs> no, we're going to go get breakfast, I assumed. Uh, but we just had this scones. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough breakfast. Well, I mean, we could follow up on this other fellow, Mehmet. I, Does I, it feel related? Or I do know we... where his shop is if you really want to snoop around in his business. Well, there's I that. I mean, the one I know is probably dead. I, I think the <laughs> inspector in the arson unit might know more about why they aren't thinking that it's a uh, insurance scam. I mean, that constable was just a foot soldier. If we really wanted to know information, we'd have to go to an inspector. Right. And how would we convince him to give us that? Exactly. Oh, exactly I question. can convince people of many things. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I, that actually brings me to a question. I love uh, how absolutely unashamed of that he is. <laughs> <laughs> so my, uh, uh, I was, oh, sorry, my, um, your credit? Credit, thank credit you. Credit rating? Credit rating 70. Jesus. Now, I kind of, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I kind of threw that around last session yeah, yeah, yeah. in buying buying the... If it was a big thing, you'd make a roll. Okay. You know, that's... So, like, if we needed to stay longer than a week, I'd be able to put us up? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then also, is that a roll for, for bribery? Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Although, um, there'd probably be... Some social skill, right? Yeah, because so the credit rating would be you can cover the bribe. Oh, okay. The social skill would be, am I bribing the right amount, or mm -hmm. am I bribing too much, too little? Got what, it. Or is this person someone? Well, no, that's more of a psychology. Yeah. Is this the person who's going to put me in cuffs for right. even suggesting right. this? Right. Right. Okay. Uh, so as you are heading out, uh, a bellboy is coming up to your room, a twelve-year-old kid with a silver platter, and on the platter is an envelope. He says, oh, oh, excuse me, I was just bringing you uh, a message that was delivered to the hotel from a cabbie. Oh, fantastic. All right, uh, thank you. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. physical message. I love a prop. <laughs> <laughs> we stand a prop. We stand a prop. <laughs> You're very quiet. Oh, hells. All right, I'm gonna wait for the boy. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll like pull out a, pull out a, a, a thank coin. You, thank you, sir, thank you. And he Welcome. takes off. 
wait for him to like get further away because I, I read it quickly and went, go away. Yeah. <laughs> In a very polite way. He's, he's happy to not be around. Come at once, I haven't long. For God's sake, let no one follow you, J.A. Smith. Oh, God. And on the back is an address <gasps> in Cheapside, which is not the neighborhood you remember. Mm. Look up. <laughs> is, it, is, is that a bad least. neighborhood? Yeah. Do I look too well dressed? I'll take off my jacket. <laughs> yeah, let's go get, yeah, let's go get some, we'll go back. I, I mean, I think I've got some plainer clothes. Yeah, I would definitely have some regular clothes too. Yeah. They might look a little, but we have some to of be... them might look a little ethnic. Um, I don't know if. Wearing You're wearing, wow. Wow. You're wearing like a Yugoslavian peasant blouse? <laughs> what is that? Like a peasant? I... I mean, Later, Hosen. Later, Hosen. <laughs> it's January. I have a coat that looks a little shabby. That should be fine. Well, I have I my. I cover people is all I'm saying. I have my second string tuxedo, but. <laughs> no, I, you're gonna want to be even lower. Like no tie. No. Oh well, I don't. No, he's smaller than me. I have something I can just grungy. I can put over him. He's gonna wear white after Labor Day. That's mm -hmm. the. I have my khaki. Plus, <laughs> you we don't have time. You have to dress down. <laughs> Somebody get me a potted plant and just rub the dirt all over my Oh no, seat. I don't wash this. <laughs> I feel so rugged. Yeah, you're, you're, you're on your way to the hobo laugh. Uh, so you can, you know, you can get a cab, no problem. And uh, I'm definitely like keeping eyes up now because now I'm like, okay, he thinks that someone might follow us and even if I think he might be crazy, his house burned down. Yep. So I'm, I'm, Keeping like deliberate watch to make All sure right. no one's following us. Make a super clones, <laughs> or just do wrong it, game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anybody, so anybody who's trying to see if you're being tailed can make a spot hidden roll. I'll do it. And and then I think I have something in the cab too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, forty six is a regular success. Okay, I got a. If it's so the half, the half is hard success. Yes, right? hard success. Nice. nice. Don't forget to check off spot hidden. Oh, it's already checked. My oh, oh. same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you definitely notice in the lobby of the hotel uh somebody like the as soon as you come down the paper flips down and he's and and tracking you and when you get in the cab uh he gets in a car someone's following us uh there's a man oh cabby uh yes sir there's a cafe over here stop uh, we're gonna get breakfast sure oh well that was uh That'll work well, better I was going to say gun it, but uh, How good we of can have breakfast you? instead. Well, uh, I'm a very good, I'm a London cabbie. Can you lose that car behind us? Uh, how much is in it for me? I give him 20 bucks. I can lose that car, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he takes, uh, uh, he makes a drive roll. Goddamn, all has a scone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so no hungry. protein in that. Right? He's really gunning for <laughs> He <laughs> got a hard success, so he Beautiful. makes like an immediate left turn into traffic. <laughs> <laughs> and is just like, now he's going down what you think is a one-way street, but it's London, you're not sure. Um, <laughs> I went the wrong way. <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 he is like gunning it all over. Uh, you gave, so he, and he's like, you're still, uh, uh, you're still going to the original address you gave me, right? In Cheapside? Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Ah. Pulls hard to the little right. Charlie's <laughs> grinning like a maniac. <laughs> uh, uh, he it drives. Without saying we have canes. <laughs> I'm just saying, in preparation, we did not forget canes. I, I have my mallet. Yeah, your yeah. mallet. I'm, I'm good. I think this is my first time seeing the mallet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... The cabbie has questions. <laughs> no, the twenty. But, you know, the twenty. A, a twenty-pound note answers a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, um, you feel like. Uh, oh man, he just rolled not nine. Yeah, you feel like uh, that cop would have to be, or hopefully, cop. You know, cop is kind of the best case scenario. Cop there, I is guess. the best scenario. Uh, but they would have to be really good drivers to have kept up with this guy and have his blatant disregard for traffic laws. <laughs> public safety. Yeah, yeah. I value The safety of his passengers. Yeah. Uh, uh, and so he like, uh, it's, a, it's a long ride because he takes you like way the heck away. Uh, and he tells you the whole time, he's like, He's giving you a running travel log of like, you know, and see if we turn right there, <laughs> that would be too obvious. So we're going to keep going. Uh, friend, um, what is your name? 
Oh, uh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Do um, we check off Navigate? What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea um, where. Erna's having an absolutely fantastic time until she starts getting car sick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 that's going to cost you extra. Uh, I've got it covered, Jeremy. Um, <laughs> right. Jeremy, uh, once we. You're sure we've lost them? I have a couple of questions as a as a cab driver. How can I help mind. you, Squire? Sure. Um, well, you are well versed in uh, the the city, and I'm sure you take many different fares. Um, have you uh, heard? And I give a description of the Mustachio Mysterio. So, does that have you ever had a fair like this person, or heard of uh, anything? <laughs> oh! <laughs> anything strange? Oh. I mean, I've uh, I've given foreigners rides before. Yeah, I'm not a discerning cabbie. Um, it... perhaps we could describe where he was a couple days ago, and uh, and uh, did did you pick anyone hey, up from that hey, location? You. you! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to reach across Erna and roll and roll her window down to get from the little bear. Uh, he's yelling at a, uh, a a fruit stand is being Classic. rolled across the street, and he's like, <gasps> he's zo he's going to zoom around it. My cabbages. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> he doesn't clip it, uh, so he uh, 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 he whips around. He's like, uh, you, I mean, I've. I don't remember anybody specifically like that, no. Another 20. Uh, Do you, would you know of anyone who drives that route at that time? Well, I mean, a London cabbie's gonna drive wherever he can, you know. He's, so nobody takes particular areas at certain times? Not really, no. Um, well, if you could ask around. Sure, yeah. I would yeah. really appreciate it. We're at the Plaza Hotel. Oh, well, okay, yeah. Um, and with the other 20, he's like, uh, he'll actually give you the 20 back. He's like, that's more than Jeremy. enough. Jeremy. That's more than enough. Jeremy, I just want to uh, solidify our relationship. Well, all right, and he, he'll he he'll hand you his card. And he's like, if you ever need a driver in London, you call old Jeremy, Squire. He'll be there. Jeremy, you're a peach. Yeah. You've uh, treated us all so well, and you've, uh, you haven't crashed the car even <laughs> once. It's amazing. Well... Oh, I, have to pay. You do. <laughs> I have to pay for it if I crash it, you know. Oh, well. It's not me car, it's the cab company's car. Right. I understand how all of that works. <laughs> <laughs> Rule psychology. Oh, no. doesn't own the car. I'll, I'll explain it when you're old. Okay. <laughs> did you, did you I'm <laughs> I'll explain it when you're old. <laughs> uh, after a harrowing and and Slightly nausea and Yeah, we're gonna roll a. Would this a be a con roll? roll? No, don't, <laughs> don't you dare, because if you do. 26! All okay. right! Oh. I'm holding it together. I'm holding yeah. it together. Put a little <laughs> bit of extra air, I think. Yeah, the, the window <laughs> rolling down definitely helped. Johnny was safe to me. <laughs> uh, I uh, so, I'm pulling up a block away, so it's not so obvious. Oh, you're a, a darling. And, sir, if you don't mind me saying, Squire, uh, maybe take the rain jacket and it's in the boot of the car, because. Uh, that jacket is gonna stand out like a sore thumb in I this thought neighborhood. I thought he was wearing his soil. Yeah, no, arm. he's saying that about oh, that. Oh. <laughs> Even dressing oh, down. Jeremy, I can't thank you enough. And if you ever want to uh, drive me around uh, the savanna of Africa, I could really <laughs> use a driver uh, when I go on safari. Uh, I just you. love your skills. Thank you very much for your for your time and your skills, sir. Safari. <laughs> Rich boy. I don't even, well, that's a word I don't know. Okay, well, uh, like I said, you got me number. Uh, that'll ring me wife, and uh, she'll she'll let me know that you're looking for me. What is her name? Uh, Matilda. <laughs> that's Somebody write that down. I, I'm <laughs> like every yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna remember it. <laughs> you will be made to remember. I know, well, I know. I know, a favorite game is to ask DMs what the name of Yeah, I know. <laughs> I usually swear at you when you do it. Remember. <laughs> Luckily, you know, it's a little easier in a in a, in a real world game. Mm -hmm. You know, I can just... You're uh, not saying like, Nathaniel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty soon Oak everyone's going to be named like kids I went to high school with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he he um, he lets you out about a block away from the address. Uh, and uh, you walk up and it is a... Uh, it's like a, a boarding house, essentially, with 
rooms to let. And there is, uh, there, you, you know, he, he said it's number four. And so you, you know, you go in and there's, there's nobody watching the door or anything. Uh, so you go up and you're at the door to number four. Um, everybody make me, ooh, what are we going to call this? Let's call it a con roll. Oh, oh no. no. I used my good con. <laughs> Okay. No. My my luck is going to oh, run out. No, that's that isn't very nice. Uh, Ninety two. Ninety two. Oh. Not quite a fumble. All right. Um, there is a discernible, awful smell. Mm. Like, and you're a little green around the gills <sighs> with this. Um, After the car ride too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a. Um, it is a horrible combination of char mm. and meat. And smoke. Ezra, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> the problem. Uh oh. Oh, he did carry him out. Oh god, I'm getting very concerned. I'm rushing for number uh, four. Uh, 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 uh. So that you're at oh. the door to number four. I'll reach up and knock. All right. Uh, the door opens a crack, and you see Beddoes. Uh, his face is. Uh, I was gonna say ashen, but that's oh. not the right thing to say right here. He is com he's almost completely white. Just all the blood is drained from his face. Uh, and he will, ever since he said that thing about editing out the uhs, I'm just like hearing every single Aww. one. Uh, he. <laughs> for what it's worth, it happens to everyone. It happens all of the time. Um, as, <laughs> ask me, ask me how many times people say um in the redacted yeah, reports. Yeah. For me, it's my, it's my, um, damn it, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's my, it's my delay. Yeah. it's my stall. Oh, yeah. You know, I, as I, I think of what I've that. gotten better at like putting a pause into the actual sentence, yeah, like that. One. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> so uh, uh, he will open. He's like, uh, come in quickly, Benjamin. You look terrible. Uh, so you are now, uh, uh, this is what is horrifying to you. Oh, okay. Uh, that smell that you're like, hey, that's pretty good, hmm. is Professor Smith, oh. who is lying charbroiled in a bed, just horrible burns up and down his body. Um, there is, it's a small, this is a small room. There is a bed, there's a chair, and there's a table by the bed. And the table by the bed has a basin with, um, with cloth with cloth on it, uh, and the the basin is a horrible color. Mm. Uh, the water in it is just a horrible color. There are medicines and salves and things there, uh, and uh, Professor Smith is just um, most of his facial features are missing, uh, and he is he's in the bed. Bedwin, why is he not in a hospital? Uh, Beddoes will uh, just look at you and uh, just Beddoes like almost he like there's a sob. Yeah. Uh, and and he's, I, we we cannot. We cannot. He's going I, to die. I, I I go to him. All right. Doctor Smith. Doctor Smith. Can you hear me? Is <sighs> Uh, Erna! Yes, yes, oh. it's Erna. Oh, you came. Of course. Thank you so much. I'm ber I'm uh, berating Beddoes <laughs> right. right now about why he's not in a hospital. Uh, Beddoes will actually put his head in the crook of your shoulder and start crying. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, you're just like very uncomfortable. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable for you. Because I was just angry at him. Yeah, him. yeah. And like that was... Why the, the hell have you taken him to the hospital? And that was finally the thing that just like yeah. made him deal with, you know, up till now he's been survival mode. And all mm. of a sudden you're doing this, he's just like, he's gonna die. And that's what breaks Beddoes. Oh. Uh, there, there. Uh. <laughs> I, I don't have long. You, you must, you must do something for me, my dear. Anything. I'm leaning in. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, Charlie's also very close by. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're all. He, he's no, he's else like to be. only talking to Erna. Uh, uh, what, what is it, uh, Doctor Smith? Have you heard of the Sedefkar simulacrum? 
<laughs> what oh, yeah. Who hasn't? <laughs> I, I haven't. I haven't heard of it. It's, oh, it's an evil occult artifact. I've been hunting for it, and oh, those terrible men, they, they burnt my house. They tried to, oh, the simulacrum, it's a statue. It was taken apart at the end of the 18th century and scattered across Europe. I, I was going to retrieve the pieces and destroy them. You must do this for me. They can't get it. The, the Brotherhood of the Skin. Who? The, the man with the mustache. Yes. The Brotherhood Macriat. He, he's a part of this. Yes, he's one of the Brotherhood. He came to my house with some, oh, he did horrible things. He forced, oh, Beto saved me and brought me here. We're in hiding. Um, uh, yes, of course. Um, do you, uh, it does Betos know more. If, I don't want to press you. I, my notes. Maybe you could still make it. My notes. You have my notes. I, I stole them, yes. Don't, <laughs> uh, don't tell anyone you have them. Oh, uh, all right. Yes. But read them. <laughs> They're, they'll tell you about the simulacrum. They'll tell you where. Uh, my... Uh, uh, Paris. Yes. That's where the statue was dismembered. The owner was uh, a noble, uh, a Count Fenelik. He uh, he lost it prior to the French Revolution. Uh, some part may still be in France. Napoleon's soldiers carried some part of it into Venice. And then I think Trieste. Uh, I've heard stories of Trieste. Um, look up. Uh, oh, R Rudolph, you remember uh, what's his name in Trieste? Is Rudolph finding the urge to pick up a pillow and smother him? <laughs> a, a little, yeah, okay. a little. This is very, so to you, this is very Professor Smith of just like, oh, you must do this ridiculous thing for me. Drop everything and... And it doesn't matter the cost to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you, I mean, this Selfish is... Selfish git. This, this is Istanbul all over. What? We all know Budapest very differently. I thought it was Constantinople. <laughs> uh, in Trieste, Winkleman. You remember Winkleman? I do. Uh, the guy's name is Johann Winkleman. He is, uh, he is uh, a curator at the museum in Trieste. Or was five years ago. Uh, Serbia. Jeez. Serbia. Uh, 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 the National Museum. Oh, Rudolph, what was the man's name? Uh, Milovan. I was gonna roll, make a luck roll. No, <laughs> uh, you, you, you know all these people. Milovan. Uh, the curator there is Milovan Todorovic. I really enjoy that Reggie writes nothing down. <laughs> well, I'm going to look at your notes later because yeah, I was like fully is. in it with you. And no, I, was I, like, I can't take notes. That's part of why I was taking notes. Everyone I else is doing it. I'm, I'm fine. I'm not going to use these. I don't know why I'm doing it. <laughs> because peer pressure from the side of the table. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I like. Like I feel obligated to know <sighs> these things. You you must find the pieces of the statue and, and destroy them. Statue? What statue? What was that you were no, saying? He was just talking. The simulacrum. How how many pieces is it in? I don't know how many it was separate. Five, maybe? Right. Arms, legs, body, head, maybe? So five, maybe six. Yeah. Right. Yes. And these men are after it. Yes, yes, they're they want the only you must take it back to the shunned mosque in Constantinople. Make me a pow roll. Smother oh. him? Uh possibly. Okay. I'm I'm taking uh, Beto's to a, a like oh. someplace and like soothing him. 
You made it? <laughs> Just on the nose. You have been to the Shunned Mosque. In an adventure that we will find out about later that was terrible, the Shunned Mosque is an awful place and well-named. And he wants you to go back there. This is literally Istanbul all over again. You can hear my teeth. <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. Please. Um, he says, Beddoes. Oh, he's calling for you, old man. Beddoes, like, takes that moment and, like, He's still in his his uh, waistcoat, mm. uh, and he like straightens himself up, and he uh, he he grabs uh, an attaché case, and he opens it, and inside are uh, two are two hundred five pound notes. Walking around money for you, uh, <laughs> and uh, Beddoes. And the professor, like, at, at, like, after serving his expository purpose, <laughs> uh, the professor, like, lays back and it's just like... <gasps> um. <gasps> and, and Beddoes will say, The professor had planned to travel via the Orient Express, which coincidentally stops at all of these locations. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. <laughs> uh, uh, and this is to fund your travel. Is there, is there nothing we can do for you? I'm, I'm dead already. It, it, I just met you. It, it can, uh, I have so many questions. Ask, dear girl, ask. My father. Uh, uh, it's not just about that, but... but what happened to him? Ask Rudolph. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I can't believe my first impulse was to help you. <laughs> uh, right, before we get too deep into whatever the past holds, um, what, what can you tell us about this Brotherhood of Skin? Uh, the Turkish uh, cultists. Of, um, very dangerous. They attacked. They attacked Beddoes and I at home, and uh, uh, we. Beddoes ran to get help, and they burnt the house down with me in it. But Beddoes dragged me out. <sighs> and what exactly does the statue do if it's put together? Incalculable evil. Just for example, what kind? On the scale of the Great War, but bigger or, or is it less? killing oh. people? Is Far it Far worse. Oh, this no. statue must never so fall into the hands of the Brotherhood of the Skin. So it's a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. In a very small minded sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Keep asking him questions. <laughs> <laughs> How big is the statue? <laughs> Actually, that's a very fair question. Uh, it's, I, it, it changes. It changes? That doesn't make any sense. No, Even it to doesn't. Me. It's, sometimes it's large and heavy, sometimes it's small and light. Interesting. It what? is, what it's is a it? burden to be born. And you said it's it's a of a figure. Yeah, it brings nothing but pain and suffering. But it's a figure of a person. A person. A person. Is it's made in. The legend is that it was made in the image of the original evil. The original evil. Hmm. Is there anything? Do you? Beyond all this. Is there anything you would impart, or I just met you? Are you? No. 
I think he's gone. <laughs> no, he's he's barely, oh, but like okay. his breathing, <laughs> his breath, like he's like as the question gets longer and longer, his breathing is getting shallower. Oh, right, and shallower. right. I mean, I, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, is, yeah. are there any last words? I mean, take, that's take, kind of take. what I'm saying. Last words. <laughs> Yikes. I, no love pressure. It. Hey, love no it. pressure. But what's the last thing you're ever gonna say? Make Pressed. it profound. <laughs> or I'm sorry would work. <laughs> I am very sorry. This burden that I put on you, Erna, is is not fair. And I know that now. Make me a psychology roll. I don't think I can, but... <laughs> well, I mean, I can roll the dice. Oh, yeah. 97, what do I believe? All right. Uh, oh, this, what no! Is oh, yeah, that's, that's, our, oh, that's, that's our first bubble. bubble. Oh, he's not <laughs> evil. He's trying to get my niece killed. I know that much. Yeah, no, this is Istanbul all over again, and y you know how that ended. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't yet. Nick but, doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we, don't, don't, we don't know yet. Yeah, you oh. know how that ended. Were there any, uh, are, are there any telephones in the room or any phones? There is a phone down in the in the front lobby. I'm going to leave the room okay. and make a phone call. All right. Um, Beto's, uh, he, he, he says, is there anything I can do to help you? Well, I don't want you to get accused for murder. That had not occurred to me. Scotland Yard is, is looking for you and for the professor after uh, charges of arson. The, the official word is that uh, insurance fraud, but I'm thinking that, they're, that, they're, that they saw something that made them think this wasn't for insurance. In that Mehmet died three times last night. Yes, uh, and I'll, I'll, would I have saved that article? Oh yeah, you're a journalist. You yeah, know. I'll I'll pull, I'll pull it out of my notebook and hand it to Beto's, oh. and to um, make me a spot hidden bowl. Are you responsible? Uh, twenty six is a hard success. Hard success Ooh. for the. I put a lot of points into spot hidden <laughs> for the briefest <laughs> second when he glances at that article. His eyes dart back to Professor Smith and then come back to the article. Oh no, this, I don't understand this. Really? No. Are you quite sure? It... Your master's on, on his deathbed. He, he's breathing his last, his last breaths. You gonna lie to me in that? Uh... In those circumstances? I beg your pardon, I'm not lying to you. I don't know what this has to do with anything other than that it is the name of the horrible man who caused all of this. And three copies of him, or three people claiming to be him, were all killed last night. You're going to tell me that's unrelated? I, I, we were attacked by many men. All right. Does the Brotherhood of the, of the Skin, and, and he's saying, Charlie's saying this loud enough that, that maybe Professor Smith can hear it as well. Mm -hmm. Do they do they take on aspects of other people? Is that why they're called that? Like skin changers? <sighs> no, they, <sighs> not without the simulacrum. That's why they want it. Is it change their skins? Yes. So, it will allow them to Take over countries. Take the place of leaders. I come back in at that point. Mm -hmm. I hear that. All right, yeah. yeah. Do, do you have any idea why three copies of this fellow who attacked you were, were killed last night? No. I have no idea. All right. But it sounds like... I mean, it's hard to believe it's not part of all of this. I agree. If, if you find something out... Maybe it can help if you look into this. I, ah, I, I wish we had more time. I, Do you have any of them cough drops? No, unfortunately. No. I so wish that I had the time to truly get to know you, Erna. But you remind me so much of your father. I see his kindness and his 
sense of duty in you. Now please, leave an old man to die. If I could just get a recommendation to join your club before we go. <laughs> if, if I could just get a, a small note saying that you endorse me, I would. You're a good man. <laughs> I just, I just. Beddows. Beddows, if, if could you, uh, thank you Beddows. Beddows, that's the one, it's Beddows. Yeah, now that you said it right, Beddows is like, yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, I shall have a letter prepared. I'm gonna put an arm around her and her shoulders. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> Not react a lot, but just sort of, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Beddoes just sits down in the chair and like dips a cloth into that horrible water and just starts like dabbing. Ugh. Can we get some clean water at least for you? <laughs> Is there, is there a pump somewhere? But in the backyard. Yeah, oh. And Charlie will we'll just like gently squeeze her on his shoulder and then pick up the basin right. and go and dump yeah. it and refill the it. The smell of that basin, just as it walks mm. by I... you. <laughs> uh, yeah, you bring back some water and Beto says, thank you. Thank you very much. This is a kindness. It's uh, the smallest well, human kindness I can offer. While they were out, I'll lean over to Beto's. Mm -hmm. Do you need help getting out of the country? Just ask. Make I a spot hit you. Set. His passport's already. <laughs> He's ready. <laughs> He's ready to get out of here. Uh, say that less. Would be hard, I believe. Yeah. All right. Uh, he turns in the chair so that the professor can't see him, and he says, "No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir." I understand. You're a good man. Yes. <laughs> and he turns back around. Um, I, I don't know. Are you sure? It feels like we should do something, but... You will do something. You will find the set of costs in your lack room. This is my legacy. My father's legacy. Your father, yes. Your father's legacy. <laughs> You're too late, Rudolph. <laughs> Why isn't he dead yet? Can he just? He's faking. He's faking. He's faking not having a he's nose. He's been cooking bacon. Rudolph starts like poking. No, no, I will go to a particular part where I know there's nerve endings, and I am jamming a finger right. in there. He, oh! Yeah, he's still got a lot of life in him. Oh. Only mostly yeah. dead. Oh, God. We no. should, um... No, he's... He's gonna live. <laughs> <laughs> we should, um... We should probably go. Oh, oh, oh. oh God. I wish we kept Jeremy. We could've right. ended on, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Beddoes, uh... He's like, I will walk you out. Thank you. Yes. Uh, and... He walks you down the stairs and he reaches into a potted plant and he pulls out the journal. <gasps> Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Rudolph's uh, worst day. <laughs> Charlie's gonna reach for that immediately yeah, and, to, try and he, to, to try to keep it away from Rudolph. <laughs> and he says, you must tell no one and show no one that book. Absolutely no one. And don't read it. You must read it. Well, somebody has to read it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, I must go. Yes. And he goes back upstairs. And Charlie will tuck the, the journal into an inside pocket up of his jacket. Mm -hmm. uh, and you come out, and Jeremy honks the horn. Oh, he's oh, still he's there. Waiting from for down us. the street. How lovely. And he, like, waves. Wow. A little out the window. What That's... a gem. I'm actually not in the mood for breakfast anymore. <laughs> no, I uh, am. I could use a full English. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of smoked meat is going to be a, 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 a trigger, trigger for, for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> Oatmeal. That's 
Mm, <laughs> good, good sturdy porridge. Don't let him take advantage of you like he did your father. This is not a conversation to have out in the street. But let's get in the cab then. We might want to wait till we're alone in the hotel. Because it feels like we're, we might drag someone else into it. This is going to be an uncomfortable cab ride. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, Our I'm, specialty. <laughs> I'm almost feeling like maybe we need to change hotels. I Back up hotel. It's a, it's a Great Dane classic. Uh, <laughs> I am concerned that we might cause suspicion. If we change hotels? Yes. I mean, people We are, should make this look legitimate, whatever we do. People are already... has got a sneaky side. Yeah. Mm. Sneaky. <laughs> Well, she's intelligent. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> You're right, dear squire. You look like you saw a ghost. Um, not, not quite off, Jemmy. But uh, you'll keep your mouth sh- shut about that and all of this, won't you? Twenty about bucks. what? Yeah, <laughs> there's a lad. I trust you, Jemmy. All right, where to? <laughs> You're our favorite boy, and we will <laughs> protect you with our very lives, Can Jeremy. We adopt you, Jeremy. No. You're, You're our one. first NPC. <laughs> that we... No, I was going to just for the one with trust. Us. <laughs> I mean, Venice is probably good. I'm starting to feel very uncomfortable with this relationship, <laughs> sir. But I don't want to. I don't want to drag Bettos into the nonsense we're getting pulled yeah, into. Yeah. No. Let's uh, uh, back back to the hotel, please. Back to the plaza. You got it. Thank you. And if if we notice anyone. Trailing us, we'll give you him can the high Make sign. spot hidden rolls. Yep, we'll do it. Everyone. Oh, yeah. bad roll. Uh, but I, oh, I still get it. Nice. <laughs> Regu- regular success. Yeah, regular success. Doesn't appear that anyone is following you. That's up there with looks clear. <laughs> oh, but also, someone would have had to have followed us there to have been following us. I That's mean, true. they probably Not will necess- notice us get back, if anything. The only way that someone would. You figure the only way someone would be following you is if they were already watching that particular right. place. Yeah. Which, and in which case we're screwed. Yeah. But at the same time we're starting to deal with more supernatural elements. And so I, I think that taking and the roof of your cab gets written. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the case of dynamite. <laughs> you had that Oh we're ready. zooming ahead to that episode. You've had that ready this whole time. I That's think, like forty episodes ahead. <laughs> I think at the very least we should ask for different Rooms, maybe we can still stay at the same hotel, but would it look strange? I mean, to you the could you could put on a fuss. You could say, "Oh, these rooms are awful," and you know, yeah, you could well, easily. To be the... fair, the hum of the radiator has been keeping me up at night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, save this for the. And the we're far too far evening. away from the, uh, room service. Every time I've asked for a sherry or something, it takes them twenty minutes. Yeah, you can easily you you can switch rooms, no problem, um, and. Uh, you know that nicer hotels will only give police the actual guest l- r- ledger. Uh, they don't, you know, the book is not sitting on the uh, right. yeah. on the on the uh, front to look at. Right. Uh, so you're not worried about you know people being able to find you. Uh, and except the police. Except, of course, <laughs> or the police. Um. So yeah, you've got you know you've now got uh, maybe a more a more current interest in Mr. Mokriot. Uh So you've got that. You've got, you could check the hotel where, where the bodies were found. You could, you could see if there's anything in the ruins of the professor's house. Um, you like books. I, I do. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that is, that was very astute of you. Thank you. You noticed something about another person. Well, I'm very impressed. <laughs> no, the first thing I you, s- you, said you, when I saw you. Yes, you called bookish. me bookish. That was very charming. And you, yes. you must be feeling a little better to be sarcastic at him. I always have room. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, <laughs> thank, thank you. Um, <laughs> Well, I was just, I was just thinking, no, that wasn't, that wasn't Reggie, that was Dane. Um, I was just thinking that um, maybe we need to find out more about this statue and if there's any. The British Museum has, and the, uh, has a beautiful library full of all sorts of stuff. There's a massive reading room. And there's also the notes. I'm, I'm just saying that you are predisposed and personally interested in these kinds of things, so. Yes. I do love a beautiful library. Only a suggestion. I'm just 
saying that that might be a good course of action. Well, I'm pretty good at digging into things like records and whatnot. If you want an extra set of eyes to help go through things, I find out more about this uh, the statue. Yes, we should not travel alone right now, I don't think. Um, but you don't think we should do this at all? Ah, now we're getting to it. Oh, yes. We kind of have to talk about the past now. Like, completely. Look, I know whatever happened was bad. And I don't need you to drum up your trauma. But if this is, do you think this is as serious as he claims? Are we the only ones apt to do anything about it? I think most everything that he's done is without consideration to others. He, he treats treated your father's life as secondary to this. But he said that there were many people whose lives were at stake. Do you believe that? Is he right? I mean, I don't deal with spooks and things that go bump in the night terribly often. This all sounds like something from, you know, a Jules Verne novel or something. Doesn't it, though? <laughs> I didn't mean that in a good way. <laughs> oh, no, of course. People dying is terrible. Well, it's all... It, uh, that, uh, yeah. But it's all... It, it feels very fantastical. You know, a secret society getting pieces of a statue to put back together and have a great evil uh, bigger than the Great War. I mean, that's... And you know... Is he right? Professor, if you I, don't want to join us, you don't have to. I, I think that he, he can get very absorbed into things and prioritize them incorrectly. No, I don't think it's as bad as he makes it sound. Is it real? Can I make a psychology roll to see if I sure. think that he believes yeah. what he's saying? So I'll leave it to you. How real? Uh, Istanbul was real. Istanbul was real. Yeah. I I regular not success. Not Constantinople. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not Constantinople, so I'm fifty fifty. That's true. Wait Istanbul, my Constantinople. <laughs> we all have the damn song. It's right. on the yeah. character playlist. Um, <laughs> I I I got a success on the psychology roll. Do you believe what so you're saying? There's a certain desperation to believe that it's not real. Yeah, he wants it to not be real. Hmm. Yeah. Like, so I don't know how that comes through. Yeah, it was just a regular success, so. Uh, maybe it's a mess. Okay. Yeah. I'm absorbing this. Yes. Okay. I mean, the question stands. Is it real? Because, I mean, I know that there are some weird-ass things out there. I've been out in some weird corners of America, but... Maybe elements of it. It. I, I don't know. Could this. I don't want this to seem selfish, but. Could this lead to anything about my father? I mean, you must want to know too. I, I'm, I have half information, so yeah. you have to forgive me. Totally, no, no, yeah. no, 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 So, you can. again, yeah, I mean, I don't, I think, and I'm not saying anything, but what Obviously, I know, you're not saying, saying anything. Don't say shit. <laughs> what? Okay, because it's compartmentalized information. Sure. I don't know if what I know of what followed directly connects to what happened. <laughs> So and I don't, don't know if I can tie, I don't know if there's anything really linking it. You, I mean, get the string. so you were in a bad way at the end of things. But, hmm. but the end of his freaking journal. Mm -hmm. The journal that you have that you could read uh, at yes. any point. I, I absolutely could. Yeah. I'm waiting to see what Rudolph says because I'm he guessing was, very little. You're going to get the same information from reading the journal from Ezra. <laughs> 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 yes, there is a there is a future episode where we will do this. Yes, yes. 
But it's much more interesting to watch Rudolph squirm. Yeah. Uh, no, this is Nick squirming. This is like, oh. No, see, to me, this is the fun. Is like we're setting parameters now of benchmarks that we have to hit in the yeah. flashback, which I think is fun. I think I'm excited for this. I mean, I the problem, and this is just me thinking out loud. What I know is horrible enough that I would desperately not want it to be connected. That means Rudolph has to have another drop. <laughs> Takes out his medicine just really quickly. Yeah. Because he has a headache coming on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can feel it. Grind your teeth enough and that'll happen. Ah. <laughs> also, you, if you're fully aware, I don't put any of this on my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all that. Just like drop down the back of the throat. Yep. Mm. And I think... While Rudolph takes a break, we're gonna take a break. <gasps> so, we will be back just as soon as five five people can use one bathroom. Uh, we'll see you then. Sounds like a word math problem. But now Thomas can't <laughs> use the bathroom. This is oh, yeah, Thomas is if a train leaves K K Kansas City. <laughs> a train leaves With London. one bathroom. <laughs> if it's the Orient Express. If the Orient Express only has one bathroom, <laughs> they've right. done something right. wrong. <laughs> Welcome back, internet friends. I think I did that too early. No, oh. uh, do it again. And we'll, we'll, we'll fix it in Three, yeah, okay. two, one. <laughs> uh, we are back from break and you now, we've had the exposition dump. So now, where to my friends? Well, uh, there was some research talk and there's some uh, following up about this Turkish man talk. I mean, it's, it seems to me that you and I are more literary uh, inclined and might be better at doing that kind of research anyway, if you gentlemen want to look more into what's going on with uh, Mr. You, how's your Turkish? Non-existent. Mine I, either. Let's I do it. I actually do know some Turkish. Of course you do. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd, be, I'd be real shocked if you didn't, to be frank. <laughs> Um, no, I think, yes, books and, uh... Uh, be very careful. I do know how to use books. Oh, so... I was, oh. Uh, so I could I, go with... I was Wedgie. actually a professor at one time. Well, no, you would not do that alone. No, I'll go. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I'll be safe in the library, right? Do all three of you want to go through the books? That's fine. <laughs> I can go talk to people well, myself. Well, perhaps we hold... I hate no, to no. say this. I hate, I hate to say this, but we could hold off on the books. No, I think that's pretty important. <laughs> I think reading books before we go on the train is finding out about what. No, I'm impressed. Yeah, I just I think that. <laughs> Who you are know, you, and what have you done with Reggie? Are you a double? Uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 uh -oh. I'm spotted and I'm a double. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just want to be prepared for the adventure. <laughs> Look, I don't want to read the book. <laughs> okay. I definitely don't okay. want to read but the book. But if the nerds want to read the book, <laughs> yes. have, no, you I know have this. A very important. Um, I uh. <laughs> Finish your sentence. <laughs> <laughs> very important. Dot 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 dot. Julius is going to die. Yes. If he's not already and dead. Better, no, he's he's hanging on. <laughs> <laughs> but one day. I mean, when when you when you shove a finger into someone's body, they do tend to scream, even if there isn't a lot of body left. Did, Quite a did, who did that? <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> I might have been some, in the corner. <laughs> I'm gonna get some papers prepared for Beto so he can get out of the country. Oh. Oh, that's very that, that's, kind of you. That's smart. And that then is... after I'm done with that, I can assist with some research. Would you? But if we're going to go talk to a potential murderer, <laughs> let's not just split up. I can go do it myself. I'm not afraid. It's fine. I talk to almost murderers every day. Yeah, usually across the dinner table. <laughs> so I've been told. Um, okay, but Don't what are our priorities? I think we do need to follow up about this man. Uh, as he is a potential enemy. Um, Find out if there's more of them somewhere. More enemies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is this is a proper adventure. We I have to have you so. have to have enemies. You gotta go take that. Uh, to, you uh, got your application for your adventures club, don't you? Want to get that squared away? Oh uh, well, I, of course I could send okay. that. Seems with, like a good. I could so, send a boy to do that. It's just I. I 
as but, an alternative to go, just wait before you go talk to. I haven't given you his address, and I'm not going to. Whose address? Exactly. <laughs> so, um, What's going a on? paperwork. And I'll research. Catch up with, yes. And then, uh, and, and then, then B and E. <laughs> Or, or at least go and talk. I, we have done a few B and E's at this point, so I wouldn't be surprised. Two. We've done a whole yeah. two in one episode. That was incredible. We really got through those quickly. The no. spare key feels like it wasn't a B and E. That was that was, a, e. oh, that was an, an e. old friend yeah. using a key. We were helping the solve the rainbows. Like taking advantage of the information that watering we the plants. Uh, okay, okay. I, 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 I do agree. I do think that if you're going to be working on paperwork. Um, we can get some research done because I feel like you might have to. I don't know how, how long. How long does that sort of thing take you? I'll well, see. It's not that difficult. I've got the things ready to. Forge. I have a U.S. passport. <laughs> <laughs> I have those too. Those plural. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I'd love to uh, join you and, and learn a little bit about these uh, more shady, underhanded we never aspects. Said, no, why are you? <laughs> Get him out of the country. He's suspected of, of perhaps uh, arson. He and your mind goes and, straight and to that. I well, suppose. I mean, in fairness, it's it's, it's, it's going to be murder here in a minute. As soon as, soon as uh, he kicks the bucket, which is likely. We need to get him out <laughs> quietly. I'd love it's to find right. out you're, how. You're, no, it's good. Good to talk. Good okay. to talk about things. Um, okay, so Wonderful. we're gonna go Boring. to the library. Yes, yes. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go down to, to the museum and the library attached and uh, start doing some research. Could you remind me the name of the simulacrum? Because uh, I was uh, distracted. I'll give, the, I'll give you the spelling. Please. Oh, I love a spelling. It is the Sedefkar simulacrum. S-E-D-E-F-K-A-R. Sedefkar. Sedefkar. And how does that pronounced? Sedefkar. Sedefkar, okay. Do I recognize that language? Ooh. Do make I recognize that language? You can both make me education rolls. Do I recognize that language? <laughs> you can try I mean, to make an education <laughs> you, can, you may attempt an education roll. Okay, I mean. I feel, I feel left out. Can I join in on sure, that? Yeah. As good of a success as one can get. It was a regular success. I check success. off education. <laughs> You're so educated. You got a critical success? Yeah, I got a 12 out of 17. Jiminy Christmas. Uh, 12 out of 17. So Your education 17? <laughs> no. The, 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 he went to seven, 17 or under is Oh. Different. He flunked flower bringing. I got a 59 out of 50. Ah, uh, you I flunked flower bringing. Uh, 95. I know nothing about, about this language. I got regular. Proto Anatolian? Rudolph knows what that means. <laughs> Somewhat. Nick. Good uh, God, this is so up my alley. I'm so interested. <laughs> it is. It is some sort of bastardization of early uh, Anatolian languages, which is around Turkey. Um, okay. So oh. was it, it, was it, well, it wouldn't put, have been um, Hittite because that was Anatolian proper, right. so it would have been before that. The, oh, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Okay, we should go to that library. <laughs> <laughs> before, before you get lost in, uh, in, all, in all them, um, Amazing thoughts you're having. <laughs> the British Museum is the greatest seat of learning in the world in 1920. It is, uh, I mean, it is astounding. And I mean, it's all stolen, let's be clear. Yeah. Yep. But, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> we're all colonizers. But it is incredible. So we, we call it Maddie. And then she gets her husband to <laughs> Matilda, I'm assuming Matilda. Maddie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on, on Maddie basis. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah, she's, she's like, hey, Oh, I Jeremy can... told me about you lot. Yeah. <laughs> You're the Toshes who threw around the money. Well, thank you. Christmas is going to be lovely this year. <laughs> Just to make sure you all get there without... Uh, I do trust Jeremy. I Even mean, though he makes me feel ill. <laughs> <laughs> as, long, as long as we keep the window a little open for yes, him. Only you. when we ask him to. We haven't actually asked him to drive normally yet. <laughs> we asked him to go well, and he So did. I will say, not wrong. if we want anyone to be followed, it would be better if it was us because mm. we are doing something legitimate. Legitimate. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you can also take the tube to the British Museum. It's an easy oh, ride. Oh, a tube. 
<laughs> I, I, I must say that I am not totally familiar with the, uh, the public transit here. I am very curious. The hotel is no help. As soon as you say public transit, they're like, why? <laughs> <laughs> we have cars for that. Anyway, we, we, uh, we get our way to the British Museum. Yes. Yeah, yeah, easily. Uh, We're so, probably taking tons of notes about the tube. <laughs> uh, it is it is just a, a temple of learning. The reading room is a giant room with two huge skylights and just tables as far as the eye can see. Uh, and basically you tell one of the desk clerks what you want to look at and they will bring you uh, publications from the stacks. The stacks, by the way, uh, you have heard, the stacks of the British Museum are tunnels underneath this museum, underneath the museum. <laughs> there are old subway stations and tunnels that ha the museum has just turned into storage space. I'm sure nothing bad will happen down here. <laughs> no, we're, not, we're, not, we're not going down here. Yeah, you don't stacks. go down there. Yeah, you don't we're there. staying up here in this beautiful, well-lit room. Um, well, okay, uh, if there's anything else you are interested in, we know that this is Proto-Anatolian, so anything about, like, very old Turkish history, which I would be interested in anyway. And, and, um, and you're one of the best people to ask about that sort of thing. Anyway, this is your special... Uh, your yes, specialty. this is my specialty, um, and, um, but also, uh, anything about any of the... Uh, there, there were certain, um, locations that we've uh, described, so mm. anything about the uh, the historical leaders during the time period that was described to us, um, you know, I'm cross-referencing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, both of you make me library use roles. The most important roles in the game. <laughs> I did put most of my points into this, so hopefully I'm okay I've been waiting okay so long it. for this. Yeah. I'm so excited. Seriously. Ooh, baby. Uh, could I ask for a reroll? Yes, we haven't hey. used a coin yet. We have not, sorry. If you, okay, here's a question. If you use a coin, do you have to take the new roll? Okay, I'm keeping my roll then. That's very fair. I rolled a nick. I rolled exactly the same thing. Um, Your dice hate you too. Apparently. I did get a hard success. Okay. Nice. So with a hard success, um, there is the only reference they could find to anything Sedefkar mm -hmm. is to uh, something called the Sedefkar scrolls that are manuscripts in the Topkapi Museum in Constantinople. Which I only remember as a, as a uh, uh, didn't know it was a library. Um, this is interesting. And also might, I might be able to tell the university that this is why I'm going to Constantinople, mm. which I have been thinking about. <laughs> I need an excuse. <laughs> um, and the, the clerk with a hard success, the clerk will also say, uh, but uh, there is, uh, the closest thing we could find was a, a 13th century manuscript known as the Devil's Simulac. Mm. And uh, as near as we can tell, the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris would have more information so on you, that. So you do not have a copy? We do not. Okay. No, the, but... Bibli the Bibliothèque Nationale uh, would have more information on that. And it was the, the Devil's Simulac? Yes. And, uh, Bibliothèque Nationale. I'm thinking of, com uh, community. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bibliotheca. Um, all right. Thank you for your help. Of course, of course. Uh, uh and, oh, without, you got a hard success. So, the last thing you look up was that guy in France, uh, the, the, the Count de Fenelic. Mm -hmm. And they find no nothing about him, um, is that strange? I mean, well, the French uh, Revolution. There were there were quite a few nobles who disappeared around the French Revolution. Mm. I wonder if he was one of the ones that that uh, changed his name and went somewhere else. Possibly. Or he disappeared. Or he disappeared. But I mean. I don't want to make assumptions. <laughs> um, thank you for all your help. Yes. Of course. So you guys have been here most of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. At this point. Uh, and as, you know, it's it's just about five. I, I, 
Uh, Erna seems like she's in a better mood. <laughs> she's like, this has been really I'm fun. I'm in a happy place. This is, this is really enjoyable. <laughs> uh, I, I, did not, I did not make my library use roll, so I'm basically just like helping her organize right. notes. Yeah, and I'm like, uh, I'm like uh, jabbering about like all uh -huh. this like really dense stuff. So and Erna's taking quick notes based on all of the, the, all the things she's jabbering. So at some point, while she is collecting books, you're just sitting there. Mm -hmm. and, you're kind of like, mm -hmm. and you look around and to the left of you is a, a person in a very large jacket, like an, an over large jacket, who's like this. <laughs> just kind of. That I'm was a great camera angle, I'm sure. <laughs> no. Curious, lean and look a little bit. Not get, not get any closer because, like, what people do in the reading room is their business, not mine. <laughs> All right. Make um, sure they're alive. Make, yeah. me, make me a spot hidden roll. Oh no. Or perhaps don't. Up for uh, you. That's a sentence. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> oh, I don't know if this is one that I wanted to get a hard success on, but I did. All right, hard success. Um, My there, binary dice worked for me. Nice. <laughs> there is a did small- Did you betray me or did you help me? There's a small puddle of fluid Ooh. collecting on the ground under this person. What color is this fluid? Alarmingly, viscously clear? <laughs> Gross. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I'm gonna get up right. and go over there. Uh, are you all right? No response. Reach out and- As soon as you touch it, ah! the body falls over and falls like this, and under the jacket is a person who has been flayed. A oh. person with no skin, except carved, reverse carved. Yeah. The skin is left on their chest. It's a man. And in on their chest, written in their own skin, it says, the skinless one will not be denied. Please make me a sanity Yep. Order. <laughs> First one of the game. Don't go to library. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing good happens That's in the library. That's very nothing fair. Uh, that is a 15 out of a 75. All right, you are alarmingly okay with this. Uh, you, <laughs> yeah, that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, it's Professor Smith. Uh, Yikes. You, you lose one sanity from the horrifying scene. Uh, and there is quickly a stir. Yeah, because I, I I think I, I yelped as yeah, I, yeah, I pulled yeah. back. Is yeah. everything all right? Don't look, Erna. You turn your head away right now. Um, are you sure, Charlie? I am very sure. Turn your head away right now. Okay, I expect a full report later. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, I will give you one. But right Show now, me on the doll. <laughs> right now, you need to not look at this. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. And they and very quickly they close the. Uh, and uh, a, a, an, a an official mm -hmm. from the museum uh, asked to speak with you. Uh, and says, uh, do you know this person? D does this person look familiar to me at all? Have I ever seen them? I mean, you cannot. With there are no on? there are no features yeah. to recognize. Just They're like fully flayed except for except the for text. What's written in the... Just kind of look at him and go. <laughs> Sir, I very well could, but it would be very hard to tell without a face. And and you, you merely. I just touched him. Because. Because I noticed that, that someone was sitting slumped over, and I happened to notice that there was some kind of liquid under his chair. Yes. A dripping like clear thing. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I made sure Erna was not in the room when I'm having this conversation. The less spoken of that, the better. Um, I, I, I don't know. Well, I'm terribly sorry that you experienced this. Uh, it is not indicative. <laughs> of... uh, not my usual experience of going to libraries, I must say. No, no. Uh, and I, I wish to apologize on behalf of the British Museum. Uh, we're terribly sorry about Could this. Could we get a free book? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I didn't even finish the book I was reading. I Can was I get got a free distracted book? by this horrible thing. <laughs> Can I get this book to go? <laughs> and um, well, of course you are welcome to return, but uh, 
I, does this sort of thing happen often to you? <laughs> this has never happened before, and we're. Um, so I this could have happened to literally anyone in this fucking room today. It could have happened to you if you'd notice a patron that happened to be sleeping. You read over and went, "Hey, Mister, could you maybe not sleep here?" It's, this could have happened to literally but anyone in this mile-long room. That's why we don't do that. <laughs> do you <laughs> often find bodies in here? <laughs> We have, <laughs> but not. But it's your fault. <laughs> but, not, but it's my fault somehow. But not in this particular state. This is extraordinary. Yes, it is extraordinary. Um, I, I must say, I have never seen anything like it before in my life. Uh, no, this thing, this sort of thing, it doesn't happen terribly often. And and uh, the authorities have asked me to ask you if the note means anything to you. The note. On the body. Remind me what the note was again, please. The skinless one will not be denied. Because, <laughs> 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 yeah, when you don't have skin, you don't take shit. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be denied. You're just, you're just in a state where you're like, no mood! <laughs> I'm out of. It's all out there. Yeah. Um, I can't say that, it, that it's light, lighting up any lights or ringing any bells. One last request. Would you mind not speaking to the press about this? <laughs> Conflict of interest. <laughs> and Charlie's just well, you, can, you can say you were not going to speak to them On the one it. hand, I am the press. <laughs> on the other hand, I don't want just anyone to know. Like, but on the other hand, I truth must be told. And they're <laughs> like, no! <laughs> and Charlie just sort of ponders this for a second and is like, I can promise you that I will not speak to any other member of the press. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> well phrased. Thank you. Very good, very good. <laughs> oh, fudge. <laughs> I'm rolling something back. Okay. You don't know what the note says. Uh -huh. It's in another language? It is in a language you recognize. Oh. But you wouldn't know. That's right. Because you don't so you know me to get it? If I, if I am able then, if, if I recognize this is a language that I don't speak, I think, and I don't, I do not want Erna to see this at all. No. Absolutely not. You write down the, I, I, mean, I, I would copy language, it down as, yeah. as quickly as I can. The alphabet is the Anglican alphabet. Okay. So, uh, you write it down mostly. And you get the the message: the skinless one will be denied. Oh. And is it will not be Turkish denied. or in modern Turkish? Okay, all right. Not the modern Turkish, just to be clear. Yeah, not yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, different language. Um, yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, anything else? I should have said the Greek alphabet, not the. Uh, mm. Oh yeah, it's, 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 well, a, it's a Cyrillic. <sighs> no, it's I mean, Cyrillic so, and Greek are almost identical in yeah. some ways. Well, it's something. This is getting edited out of the book. But uh, uh, it is modern Turkish. Okay. Um, luckily, the alphabet, like I said, is mostly the same. There's some weird squiggles under C's and stuff. But... Yeah. But yeah, Charlie would have taken uh, scrupulous notes about that in the yeah. like, in that like shock of, oh my God, I'm seeing something incredibly horrible. Uh, yeah. I'm going to focus on this detail so I don't start screaming. Yeah. 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 Um, and so you are <laughs> hustled out of the mute, you, well, politely. Hustle. I think, in, and, and I think in this moment, I will like reciprocate and like give support to <laughs> Charlie and just be like, um, I don't know exactly what happened, but um, I'm here, and um, I think perhaps we should get back to the hotel. Um, I would very much like to stop somewhere for a shot of something very strong. Oh, would you like a whiskey? <laughs> I I think a whiskey sounds like an amazing uh, yes, idea. Yes, I wouldn't mind a whiskey. Perhaps we could call we could call a. Jeremy to drive us. <laughs> I, I feel like there's, well, sure, why not? I am concerned about our safety, so I think Jeremy is a good person to have. And, Char and Charlie us. kind of shudders thinking about that flayed person, like, I'm a little concerned about our safety too. Yep, that's, a, that's an excellent So idea. I trust Jeremy, and, uh, and, we, and we will keep watch. We are both very good at seeing things, <laughs> um, which is good. I think. Um, I so, so, much. <laughs> uh, so we will keep watch while we have a whiskey, and then Jeremy will drive us back to the hotel. That sounds like an excellent plan. Uh, lovely. And I, if, if we if we get to a pub and we can find like a relatively quiet corner, mm -hmm. uh, like I can pull aside and be like, right, here's what I saw. Sanitizing it as much as I can without like going yeah. into detail, and then show her the the written thing. Yeah, and you, she gives you the translation. This does seem targeted to us. 
Hmm. Yes, but I couldn't exactly say that to the investigator. No, no, that makes sense. Um, I don't want to get kicked out of the British Museum. Um, that, that would be a fate worse that than would, death. Honestly, that would be the best thing that's ever happened to me now. <laughs> and by investigator, you mean librarian. <laughs> I want the episode title to be, I don't want to get kicked out of the British Museum. <laughs> um, so, uh, yes, you, yeah, you, but I would... Killed, I would, or um, worse, expelled. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think uh, uh, Erna would like process that as well as she could and be like, God, that's horrible. Uh, but like, try to be very like academic mm -hmm. about it and just like be like, okay, this is where we're at. We need to be careful. Well, and it was, I didn't want to say much in, the, in front of that person. It was fresh. Like, it was still, Good. sorry, dripping. Like, dripping. Like, how? That seems impossible to be flesh in there without anyone noticing. We are good at seeing things. We would have noticed. <laughs> well, I mean, we were kind of down with our heads. I was very focused. <laughs> <laughs> and I was helping you with notes. And, yeah. that, and that, I think, is how people get away with a lot of things. Like, if you have if you have a body between two people who are just like, oh, we're just helping our friend along and set him down and get him all arranged. So you... Uh, that, 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 that's a very kind, kind, of, kind of you to help an old man out. Right. It is easy to hide things in plain sight if you make it seem legitimate. Yes. If, 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 I have used this trick many times, Erna, and I, I recommend it highly. Walk in and act like you own the place. Act like you know exactly where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to be doing and no one will question you. I don't know if I can do that. Speaking of legitimate things, <laughs> I'm so glad we're doing passport paperwork instead of that boring library stuff. <laughs> Tell me everything illicit that we're doing. <laughs> just making a fake passport. He says we're so just, just like getting, <laughs> We're just getting the correct paper. It's exciting. Okay, all right. So, I mean, it's not just getting things right. It's the things that you want to you want to get some of the things wrong in a way that I'm going to get a whiskey. I'll be right back. Okay, never mind. I'll, 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 I'll okay. Rudolph started to teach. And then... I also love, like, the running thing of Rudolph being surrounded by people who are not good at being, like, sneaky. <laughs> just being like, oh, how do you do this? <laughs> it's just... Uh, so, yeah, go ahead and make me a forgery roll. Can I take my time? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get a bonus die for sure. Whee! Heck yeah. And I'm helping. And we have I want to give them some good work. I want this to... Yeah, which, is, which means that that was the role that you failed, that you didn't want to. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll take the 26 for a hard six. Yeah, this is this is a very good fake passport for... Uh, are you using his actual name? Hmm. Bedwin. You're pretty sure he couldn't pull off a fake name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going... Here's a... Do you know his first name? <laughs> Bed. I mean, I'm sure it's been oh, in, so... uh, in correspondences or whatnot. Like, how long? How long have I known him? He was is there. He, is he new? Okay, if he was there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I, so I should play him. I, I'll have to just give oh, him instructions on like where to go in Ooh. case they're because they're watching for him. How long to wait? Um, God, he's gonna need something set up for the near term, though. Are you gonna like go back to yeah, the flock house? Jeremy. Okay. Jeremy's like, uh, I just dropped the ladies off at a pub. The what? The ladies. <laughs> oh, I just dropped the folks off at a pub. There you go. <laughs> yes? No, you, do you wanna. Are, sure are you too bored? <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> what? I was disassociating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, get the papers to Beto's. i a little bit of a. Uh, Oh, let me come. I love the car rides. <laughs> a little bit of pocket. Do you? Uh, <laughs> Jeremy's very happy to see him in the car. Anna. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, <laughs> old team. Look at you. <laughs> and before, like, stepping out, I'm just going to get a sense of, like, people watching. Okay. I want to see Make if I can a spot, spot roll. who, if they're police six. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Ooh. Yeah, no, that, that same guy is still in the lobby, and is, as you come down the elevator, the paper goes whoop. So good. Do you point, do you point a, him out? Yeah, he's he's a cop, right? You think he's a cop? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that, that's. Have you been looking at us? Oh. Uh... What's your name? And then I look over at the front desk. 
Who's this guy? I'm John. <laughs> of the Smith family? <laughs> yes. Mm. You don't. How do you do? Who you, are you? We keep seeing you looking at us, and it's making us very uncomfortable. I like your jacket. Oh, thank you. You still have the raincoat? I still. <laughs> no, I don't have the raincoat. He took that off as quickly as. Yeah. No, it's like a navy blue suit. I'm sure suit. it's a nice jacket. It's nice. Yeah. It's very nice. It was a pleasure meeting you, John Smith. Yes, you as well. People I don't know. Definitely. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to the to the front desk and yeah. be like, "Can you deal with this? Because this is really um, inappropriate." And he's been staring at us every time. Uh, sir, I'm not at liberty to. Is he a guest or not? Of a fashion. <clears throat> well. I have many, many well-to-do friends, and if we are being watched in your hotel, I will not be recommending this hotel to all the various influential people oh. I know. I, I'll speak to the gentleman, sir. Please do. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I shall. Uh, terribly sorry. Uh, uh, Just your... fix it. Just fix it. Of Let's course, go. Mr. Sterling. Of course. Customer service nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a Karen. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be there to get things done around here. Can we go, please? Let's go. Oh my. Yes. Uh, the guy keeps his paper up this time as you walk by. We still know you're looking. <laughs> he cuts two holes in the paper. Eyeballs pop out. Uh, and you, yeah, you jump in, and Jeremy will continue to like try and he'll drive a crazy route. He says, uh, same place in Cheapside, then, Squire. Yes, please. All right, then. And he drives all over for about 40 minutes. I, I ask him about cricket. Oh, I'm a football man myself, sir. <laughs> Leatherheads, eh? Uh, I don't follow, Squire. Huh? Our, our soccer. What? Soccer? What's that? That sounds... Well, we call it footy. Weird. <laughs> well... How about polo? <laughs> Uh, I'm not familiar. Okay. <laughs> Jousting. <laughs> uh, I don't think we've done that in quite some time. Uh, now, horse I racing. I, I heard some happen last night. I enjoyed it. The night before? Uh, One of those nights. Uh, I am a married man, sir. I guess we, we probably talk about horse racing. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. very into the horses. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we find common ground yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. He'll, uh... You just search until you find a <laughs> common denominator. That's right. uh, and he'll pull up and he says, you want me to wait? Yes, please. Of course. No I problem. Give him a fiver for that. Yeah, 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 he's cha-ching. <laughs> uh, you head up to number four. Uh, there's no smell this time. Mm. Knock all the same. Uh, Thank God they cleaned. It smells so much better in here. Uh, and a soft voice says, Hello? Is that a meadow soft voice? No. It's a woman. <gasps> a woman. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I open. Uh, well, no. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we're, we were checking in on someone who was here. Uh, have they left? Um, no, no, habla. English? Start speaking in Arabic. Also, they just said hello. <laughs> well, hello is hello. pretty Yeah, that's yeah. Hello is like the first yeah. white the word you learn. Uh, you're pretty. Make an education roll. Can I? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, critical. Okay, do either of you speak Spanish? No. All right. But I'm a little bit of French it. in me. Yeah, this, they're definitely speaking Spanish. I don't think they're here anymore, old chap. Como? When did we leave? Was this this morning? No, you mm -hmm. left... Yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Oh. Was it? Did no, we, no, did no, we no, 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 no. It's the same day. Oh, you're right. It is the same day. Yeah. The same day. Yeah. Is there oh, any, wow. like, traces of a... Yeah. Dragged corpse? Yeah. No. Yikes. Yikes. No. no I'll dripping. crack open the door. You're gonna move hey! the door? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a, not a woman. In there. A woman like yells something in Spanish, and a little kid starts crying. Oh, come, come this on! This is the 
This is this is the exact same place. They're not here. They've moved. <laughs> you don't move a. The smell is gone. Right. That doesn't just go away. And they clean, obviously. That's not how that works. <laughs> I don't know how cleaning works. That could just be the uh, title of every episode. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. <laughs> but obviously there's, there's nothing masking the smell. No, there's no like perfume. Well, there is a little bit of, of uh, 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 like an overbearing perfume smell. Just when you open the door, it wafts out a little. Hmm. Uh, okay, there's... But, but there's, there's somebody, someone... like, leaning against the door. Yeah, I'll, like... I'll head downstairs. All right. Because there's someone to talk to who rents these. There's the... Yeah, the, the lady of the house. She's... Okay. Uh, uh, excuse me. You need a room! No, we're... Uh, we visited uh, some friends who were here this morning. Don't care! <laughs> Ma'am, we're I'll looking for... I'll take out some money... And we'd like to know. Just watching them. Lower. <laughs> you got it. But well, you have to. She's just looking at the money. I, but I guess you wouldn't know anything about that. I'm sure you understand that the discretion of our customers. <laughs> Take out a little more. Is very important. I'm being close. <laughs> <laughs> and, ahem, uh, oh, you mean Mr. Uh, uh, the Professor? Mm. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he came in with uh, with his uh, his valet. Mm. Yes, we're looking for his valet, actually. Oh, they left in a hurry. They did. What? In what method did they leave? Well, the Professor wasn't well. Mm. Uh, and um, he was in a wheelchair. Oh, there you are. Uh, quite a business getting him down the stairs, I'll tell you. Okay. And uh, and the smell. Oh. And they didn't. They wouldn't have left anything to. A calling card. No. No, no. But luckily, that nice Mrs. Conchita was looking for a room at just the right moment. That out, and I'll push forward the money. Oh, I thank you. If you ever need a room, <laughs> you just ask for Ermeline. Oh, well, we might. We rent by the hour. <laughs> <coughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Where to? Wanna go get whiskeys? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's like, I've got just a place. <laughs> <laughs> and he will zip you over to where they are. So then she said, they rent by the hour. Oh, well. that sounds so pleasant. But we haven't found- <laughs> In comparison. <laughs> we haven't seen Beddoes. It was so exciting. Oh, no, it wasn't. But I bet your <laughs> library experience was just so dreary. But what'd you find out? Well, if you want to fill them in on the... Yeah, I would... No, 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 no. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, and, and, and Fascinating. It... So, so nothing about the statue, then? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I thought that's why he was. <laughs> Charlie just carefully imposes himself between her. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same grip of the cane. Oh, but I, have have I just thought that's why you went. You know, you find, you find oh, that was fantastic. I just... uh, there, there was information encoded in what she was talking about that will lead us to people who to talk to. It's a, it's a, a, a treasure hunt. Oh, wonderful. It seems like you, your astuteness kind of comes in waves, and it's kind of at a low tide right oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think about the statue then. Fantastic. Oh, um, there's your episode title. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> but there was also some very good things that happened, and I don't know how much. Oh, tell us. Tell us everything. Uh, there was a person there who was quite dead. And no, we didn't find a dead person. <laughs> you, you, you probably just missed him. We didn't him. find any people. We didn't. I mean, I'm pretty sure he had to have been dead. This, this fellow was flayed. Flayed? All skin removed from his body. Oh. And there was a message in Turkish that feels directed to us. Oh, the um, <clears throat> Brotherhood of the Skin are from Turkey. 
Yeah, and this was very skin related, so. Skin centric. Yeah, quite. <laughs> skin centric. Good lord. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that, that's been our. So opinion. I think you have a right to be concerned. Mm. Even libraries are not safe anymore. <laughs> Oof. I just watched a little bit of your innocence dog. <laughs> <laughs> Keep <I> watching. <laughs> Uh, this is not how I wanted you to find out. <laughs> I thought they were safe. I thought snipers. Um, but it sounds like, at the very least, this Brotherhood of the Skin believes that, that something's real. Enough to kill people over it. And send a message. They don't want us... If they are doing things like this, it must mean that they think that we are vulnerable and that we could be... Scared off. Yes. <laughs> Nothing can scare us. We're a team. Together, oh, no. we will per persevere. <laughs> Fear is the body's natural response to danger, and it should not be. I was afraid once. Did it hurt? <laughs> Perhaps you should be afraid more. Perhaps that would be good for you. I'll try it if you say so. <laughs> so. Words. None. <laughs> So now we're all caught up. What is our next step? Well, we have some, I mean, we have some clues for when we leave London to Paris, but there are people who are after us. Should we just go to the police? No. And tell them what? That there are people threatening us? I think we should just get on the train and get this thing going. Or should we look after Mehmet? I think to what aware end? Aware of us. Nope. Maybe there's something in his store. Yeah, I think we should go, and we should go together. Tomorrow? You said not at all railroading. <laughs> <laughs> not this after this, this is the right season to railroad. Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is a literal train. You could railroad us a little. Um, um, yes, together. What, what time of day is it? It's heading towards evening. Yeah, I, I don't think we should go in the dark. It's getting it's getting dark, real quick. The only people that don't break and enter at night. <laughs> Well, That's what they. No, we've already <laughs> we already have broken it. Well, I mean, do, 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 do we want to break an inner? Because if, if if so, then tally ho. But you? I mean, they were they were able to zero in on you real quick at the yeah, library. Yeah, I think Look. doing this in daylight is uh, with bystanders. Mm. Yes. I think we should all go to the theater. No, I think that'd be the worst. They've made it very clear that they do not care about collateral damage if it gets the message across. If we go when there isn't uh, bystanders, we can, if something goes wrong. But it would be at one of their locations. I think they're fine drawing attention if it's. Oh, yes, they don't else. want eyes on them. So if it's his shop, they wouldn't want people snooping around. Like the police. Uh, I mean, the police are already looking in that direction because of the the, the doppelgangers or the copies or whatever mm. that have been done. I also I don't say. want us to be... I want this to look legitimate. I want this to look <laughs> like a research trip. In a way, it already is. <laughs> it is. You're right, Reggie. Yeah. <laughs> but... How do you write off gloves and a mask? <laughs> <laughs> <Please Paul Clava. laughs> Um, I feel like, I, I, yes, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, unless, the only thing I'm concerned about is timeline. If we take too long, are we going to lose the scent? I mean, I mean, it's entirely possible if he, if, if he or they think that we're onto them, if they, if they think that we've seen the professor, I wouldn't put a pass them to burn their own building down and disappear. I, th I think we should go tonight, and if we don't go there, we should be around a lot of other people. How many shots of whiskey has everyone had? Just checking. One. Oh, uh, let me I don't <laughs> generally count. I'm not really <laughs> Enough to good idea. I'm going to divide that by two. Wow. Three. <laughs> yeah, you're Make doing great. Make me a con roll. <laughs> okay. Oh, baby girl. 
my brain went oh. to what you need is an upper. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I my luck is going to run out in a big way. I think. You're, but yeah, I, you're feeling no pain. Yeah, yeah. It's great. I feel great. Um, so, uh, theater or. I, I just suggest the theater, theater breaking an interview. <laughs> to, to be around uh, many other people, oh, so oh. that if, uh, if <laughs> we are uh, being targeted, then they they have no other choice than being out in the open with it. But um, I think breaking and entering at night it would be a lot more fun. Well, and you have your cane. Of course, he has his always. cane. He always has his cane and his backup cane as well. <laughs> And his backup, backup cane. That's right. Backup cane. <laughs> and I, I have my like mallet. <laughs> they're in my, they're I'm in less my concerned about that. In fact, I'm worried about that. Uh, I am concerned. Yeah. Uh, sword so, mallet. Why? <laughs> um, okay. I think we should go to the shop. Yeah. Tomorrow? No. Tonight. No. Tonight. Let's okay. go. At the very least, let's let, let's do a walk by. And have a nice you know where it is. Yeah. See, see, if it, see what it looks like. See what what's 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 around, and if we, it feels safe enough, do a little bit. And if it doesn't feel safe, we go to the theater. Sa- safe I enough. I think that's amazing. Safe enough. We can hit up with we can hit up you know uh, Gladys or whatever. We've had such a rough day. Let's go out for steaks. I'll take you all out for steaks. <laughs> all right, Reggie that's takes. That's a good idea. That sounds, that sounds really lovely. Yeah. Actually. Reggie takes you all to a lovely meal. Uh, we needed is, this. It is a fantastic meal. Uh, uh, it is a, uh, a a classic French <laughs> steak frites. Mm. In fact, there's not a menu. The <laughs> only thing this place serves is steak frites. <laughs> you get a little salad to start, and Wonderful. then they give you bring you a, a well cooked steak with. A what? big basket of well cooked. What do you mean? No, 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 no. Cooked correctly. Yeah, cooked oh. well. properly cooked. <laughs> cooked well. Properly cooked. Properly cooked. Properly cooked. You know, okay. I hate it when restaurants have menus because then you have to just think about what you want. But when they just give you the food, it's always delicious. We actually went to a place in Paris that that is. You, there's no menu. Wow. You, all they serve is steak frites. That sounds amazing. That's, yeah. Uh, Let's get that terrible reading process. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you have a lovely meal. And it's now about ten o'clock. Shall we uh, break I into? Uh... Possibly break into it. <laughs> no, we Shall must. We, we must. Oh. We were preparing. I, I have to say, I haven't had uh, a steak that good since I left Texas. That's delicious. Thank you. I need to go to Texas. Um, I simply must go to Texas. Do n- do not recommend. Zero out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Some oh. steaks. Sure. Good steaks though. Good sticks. Uh, I, give I put on my blackest tuxedo and we go to <laughs> break in. Now I really just want to. you have one for everyone. <laughs> I do. Yeah. <laughs> now I really want our oh, like, Reggie in like full tuxedo while the rest of us Stealth have like tux. T-Max on that side. Black silk shirt. Black tie. Black satin oh. coat. Stealth tux. I love it. Do we actually? Because I... I, I want that. <laughs> I want that. Jeremy, uh, uh, you get, Jeremy's like, oh, that's a lovely outfit, Squire. We're, we're, Jeremy, we're going out on the town, and we're definitely not breaking into anywhere. Okay? Radio. Yes, we're going out partying. Now take us... In Islington. A, uh, take us a block <laughs> away from this address. <laughs> and okay. I give the correct address, because I know at some point we'll go there, and then I'll get chewed out if I give him the wrong one. All right, uh... You were, uh, well, yeah, a lot of great parties in Islington. Thank uh, you. Well, we're sure to find one. Uh, so fun. this is a, a small, uh, uh, it's, a, it's like a, a district of shops. And there are, you know, it's like two-story shops with a shop and then a little living space above it. And there's just row after row of all these little shops. And one of them is M. Macriat, purveyor of fine antiques. It's kind of up your alley. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. And you can look in the window. Uh, there's a closed sign. Uh, and uh, you look in the window, and there are unremarkable pieces of statuary. Uh, I mean, not bad pieces, but, you know, this is nothing fancy. Can I look around to see if anyone's sure about? Yeah. Out and about? Yeah. Oh. Everything's oh. fine. Oh, wait. No, actually. 
Wow, that was you took me on a journey. There. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, I so Not what if you meant a hard success? You, then you got a hard success. I did. All right. Um, yeah, there is definitely a person who has just walked by for the third time. Oh God. Yeah. Oh hell. I guess it's mallet time. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, what? No, it is not. I then we can't have witnesses. What? Door. Okay, there's no... Uh, and you see a pile of mail in the mail slot. Like, several days worth of mail. Nobody's been here. I'm gonna step back a little bit and look up into the living area, see Dark. if there's any lights. Okay. Is there a back? <clears throat> that would be what I would look Yeah, for. there's an alley. There's a back alley that has, you know, uh, uh, Stairs up to the to the uh, yeah, fire escape and all that. Good. Are there any bins in the alley? Sure. Skips. Yeah. Skips. <laughs> all right. Um, so you guys are heading to the alley. Yep. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, the the person walks by again as you kind of find your way to the alley, and uh, quickly oh. walks away. Right. So I figured we got five minutes, maybe ten. Did um, they seem copy or did they seem skinny? <laughs> I don't know if Erna would, or skinny. I don't think Erna could make that decision. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, 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 we have, is it John? Is it John Smith? As far as you know. No, it's not. It's not okay. your buddy John. Not John. Um, if only. So we, we tried to. just one policeman. <laughs> <laughs> In the whole of one. I'm just curious. Thompson and Thompson. Uh, we, we tried the back door. Yeah, yeah. So you go, you slip into the alley um, and... Uh, the back door is locked. There's a so the back there's a a back uh, there's a door on the bot ground floor, and then there's a stairway up to the probably the living quarters part. Can any of you make a convincing cat sound? <laughs> I don't make cat sounds. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Either of you like a lo loud meow, like a screech maybe. No. Acting. <laughs> the, the, so here's the plan. I'm trying to get I'm into the character. I'm enjoying Erna's method. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, is this, this is in me? This is three is whiskeys like, deep, mm. I'm thinking. <laughs> so this is what I'm thinking. I'll take the mallet, knock off the handle. At the same time, you mask the sound with a bang of the bins and a loud screeching of the cat sound. <laughs> Making people think it's just a when cat jumping out of it. Come Heathcliff episode. Listen, <laughs> listen. Oh, it's to it's. We'll break in. I'll break off the handle, and it'll be masked by the by the clanging of the bins and the cat sound. We it's just need to get in and out, right? We are wasting time. You can use a coat hanger. You can. I mean, I don't think there's credit cards, but you can just slide in a card. Like okay, well then just, do it. I, I I will pull out the cop's card. <laughs> 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 the, well, any, there. Can, do any of you have lockpicks? Nope. I mean, this is not lockpick, though. What's well, it's the... called a uh, mechanic. No, it's... Um... It is locksmith. Yeah, there's locksmith. Oh, yeah. yeah Definitely it's... not. Because I can't pick a lock. Do you? But I, I can oh, open yeah, the door with one. a credit card. No yeah, problem. Yeah. Uh, make me a dex roll. 29, so that would be just regular. Yeah, all right. So you, within 30 seconds, you just... I mean, this is not a high security. Oh, I uh, wanted to use my mouth. And so you, you know, you start, and <laughs> then you're like, bang. And you've got to bring a coat hanger with me. And you get the door open. This uh, downstairs or upstairs? I go upstairs. Okay. So uh, you are in a hallway that leads to it, opens up into a living room. And uh, you quickly case the, the upper floor. Smell test. Uh, you don't smell anything. In okay. fact, uh, it doesn't seem like anyone has been here for a while. Okay. Like that kind of musty. Um, it's a little musty. Also, there are there's no luggage in the room, and uh, a lot of the clothes are missing. Like the drawers are half full. Uh, keys would be missing, huh? Uh, it's true. Yeah. You you do find a um, an account book. Okay. And uh, you know, just a quick glance through it. Um, the only weird thing you notice is a. Uh, oh, I'll check it later. I'm not gonna. Or you're gonna steal. You're time. stealing the account book. Of course, I'm stealing the account okay. book. He said yoink. Okay, that, that is yoink. universal right. sound. He I did say yoink. I missed yeah. the yoink. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it was subtle. I, I, all right, so yeah, you you steal the accounting book. Uh, do you want to check the ground floor? Well, I just want to say that uh, I'm 
wasted here. So I'm going to. <laughs> no, you walk through with me and you just grab stuff. Take things. We have to I'm, make it look like a robbery. No! <laughs> I'm, I'm going to uh, wait just inside the alleyway with the mallet. Okay. Uh, since we do know somebody left. If it oh, is, God. if he looks like a policeman. Make me a luck roll. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna knock out a cop. Uh, <laughs> Uh, nope, he's gonna go swing. All right, wait, wait, uh, wait, wait do, do, do you, you want to re-roll that? We have, oh, yes. we have yes. coins. We have, we have coins. We have it. You're welcome. Us. We should use them. I want to see them. the mayhem deep down. Oh, that's nice. All right. I know you want to see the mayhem, but I want to use the wonderful gifts that are that our that's people have given us. True. Yeah. Uh, Let's play the game. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you. Were, so you're standing watch outside. They come back. Uh, are you gonna check the downstairs at all? Okay. Yeah, I'm in my mallet. Things are looking clear. Um, I'm, I'm also looking. Okay, so, I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. so the three of you make me look I, I will show you how to get these open without smashing things. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm watching very okay. intently, good. yes. Good. Ooh, you're very good at this, Uncle Woody. Uh, art six out of 75. Oh, nice. That's two six. That's, that's, <laughs> my luck must successes. end at some point. Yeah, we'll make a luck roll. But I am, but I, yeah, I'm oh, under. Oh, 95. No, it's not a fumble. Not quite. Uh, no. <laughs> it up. It could be a 96. If you roll again, if you roll again, you have to take the, the, the second number. Yeah, so it would probably be better. Get that fumble. <laughs> Wait, can I? Well, because you can't get it on disadvantage with just 90s as good as it would get. It's true. So I, I, just, I just have the potential of making the roll. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, um, you are, uh, at one point, you got a incredible success so at one point the same person walks by again and like looks in the window and you quickly pull Erna down in the front okay. uh, and he looks in doesn't see anything and keeps walking does he uh, walk by sorry. me no because you're in the that alley that was great and you made I'm, just in, I'm just sneaky. inside the alley like making sure people aren't coming back oh okay all right yeah so yeah. he'll walk by he'll walk by and he'll see you and he'll just go uh evening good evening He's dressed very nice. Yeah, I'm, yeah, in, a, yeah, I'm like in a black yeah. tuxedo uh, with a black shirt. Not from around here, are ya? <laughs> nope. Mm. Um, I got my mallet. <laughs> <laughs> he plays polo. Uh, uh, all right, the guy like is clearly sizing up the implicit threat. <laughs> and he says... Yeah, um, you play polo? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Do you have a wallet? No, do you? He pulls out a revolver. <laughs> <laughs> I said. I, d I do have a wallet, actually. That's <laughs> funny you should say. <laughs> and I give him, like, I don't know, like $300. You never see that guy again. <laughs> Bye. Okay. I, I take my mallet and I just keep spinning You're it. You're like, oh, it's fine. I did it. I saved the day. Just casually, 300 pounds. Just... Uh, no dollars, so it's half as much. Oh, oh that's fair. true. He goes, like, this isn't real money. <laughs> Why am I going to convert uh, this? Trick me. Damn it. Uh, uh, but you will have to go to the bank tomorrow. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. You weren't shot, though. Uh, hey, we do money. take the wins. <laughs> it stops uh, you from getting and, shot. And you know he's not a cop. Well, you figure he's not a cop. Yeah, yeah. That's Probably. Cop. Take bribes. <laughs> Come on, you see a guy in a tux wandering around. You gotta, you know. Ask him for his wallet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's gotta be well-to-do. Uh, all right, so the, yeah, the store is, is the bottom floor is, uh, like I said, unspectacular pieces, uh, not really anything mysterious or occult even uh, aimed, uh, it's it's pretty pedestrian. This is very pedestrian. <laughs> Obviously, I pick up all the mail, and I'd still like to do an appraise roll just to make sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. See that if there's something nice. good in there. That's nice. That's a three. That is a critical success. Ooh. This is practically. Oh, the, a, this is practically. It's the stupid blessed dice yeah, tray. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag blast. Decel. Oh. I have been rolling well. Decel. So. Which you can get at our sh our merch shop for Quests and Chaos. Shop.questsandchaos.com. Yeah. Obvious swing. It's almost like I say it a lot. <laughs> uh, um, this place is practically a pawn shop. 
You're, so, you're just like, oh, yeah. How do, far you've okay. fallen. Do you think this is a font? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, otherwise, it's just sad. <laughs> uh, there's got to be... Uh, uh, can any, we do a... Where would oh. I put a seat? Where would I keep my stuff? Yeah, can we do a spot hidden? To... Yeah, you guys can case this place. Sure. sure. Uh, I almost did it in the <laughs> accent again. Um, I mean, he from the top. Good God, hand. I'm rolling so well. I'm scared. We um, I got a like more than hard success. Whatever be- is harder, even harder critical. than that. <laughs> critical, uh, and I got a hard success. A diamond oh, wow. success. All right. <laughs> between, uh, I put a lot of points in here. spot hidden. Between you two, um, <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> you you find a um. You find a note in Turkish that says... Just hand it over to Erna. Uh, um, that says, train set delivered to Henry Stanley Stoke Newington. Good Lord. Long name. Mm-hmm. British. And, and, the then, it, That's and then it says, uh, 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 and, and then it says one week. And this note is dated about a week ago. It's been. Bum. One bum, bum, bum. <laughs> oh, there's absolutely nothing here. <laughs> to Henry, what was the rest of that? Sorry, I, I, I said something wrong there. Okay. It is Mr. Henry Stanley, comma, of Stoke Newington, which is a suburb of London. Okay. So this might be getting delivered at this moment. Whatever it is. Say what? Uh, I found something. <laughs> <laughs> is there a date on that? It's about a week ago. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yes, we said that. Mm-hmm. I'm in the alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> getting mugs, casually. So, shall we go? Pleasantly getting mugs. Unless... We should probably go. Okay. I think, I think we may have found everything that's here to find. Got an armful of mail. You've got a... You got an account book? account book? I'm gonna look around for a bag, like a carpet bag or something. Oh, sure. that you can... Here, you're gonna look less less <sighs> obtrusive. Thank oh, you. and let's get something that will look like obviously interesting to Reggie, so he can think that we found something. You know, that'll be good for him. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> mask. You have like a, a shot. There's like a shot glass with uh, oh. uh, with Big Ben on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and it has. It, uh, no, 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 no. So nothing that bad. No, it's like it. It should look a little occult. So uh, like a some kind of mask. Uh, like I mean, a mask I'm really or looking for something that isn't too hard to break. <laughs> a wooden mask. Uh, you find yeah, you find an African death mask. Oh. oh. Nice. Well, Wait, are we really look, a look, okay, it's yeah. clearly fake. But, Let's see, we uh, found something. Oh, I found something too. It, I have good news and bad news. <laughs> the good news is the police aren't after us, or the skin people. Uh, the bad news is I am out three hundred dollars. <laughs> Not the worst news, I guess, but what you find? Have I ever seen $300 together at the same time? I mean, I've brought out my billfold in front of you before. I don't usually, it is not polite to look into another man's billfold. Hey, it's mask. not? <laughs> there you go. Oh, what is this? It's a clue, Raji, but I couldn't quite work it out. Maybe you could take some time yeah, to course, look at it. Of course, it's a mask. You put it on your face. <laughs> oh, I didn't quite think of that. He puts that. the mask on. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sanity <laughs> roll. <laughs> and suddenly, Lyra Lothow happens. Somebody <laughs> stop me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. oh, no. A little on the nose. <laughs> okay, so, uh, okay. So do we want to go to this Henry Stanley? Hen- Hen- well, it's, it's hard quite for me to late say. right now. Roll. I mean, but we're here. So, I mean, apparently that's not stopping us. <laughs> Well, we could go to bed. So, so Jer- Jeremy's like, uh, uh, yeah, we can go to Stoke, sure. I mean, you it's a little late, you know. Right it could now. be happening right it now. It could be happening right yeah. now. Uh, All right. Well, let's go by, Jeremy. Do we do we know where this Henry Stanley is? Uh, Stoke, Stoke Newington. Newington. That's a whole like sub subdivision, isn't it? Oh, I don't have any more money for Jeremy. I have money. Jer- what? <laughs> I have money. You have money? I have money. He bought a lot of sword canes. Since when? Since I have a job? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. People have those. Um, so is it that is, is that a large area? It's a subdivision. Um, you can you look at a phone book and you get an address. Okay. For a Henry Stanley Stoke. 
So by the time you get to Stoke, it is almost midnight. That is very late. <laughs> Bert is feeling those three whiskeys. <laughs> and stinked, you know. <laughs> yeah, and stinked. The stink did her actually help. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> she, um, probably, she probably like falls asleep uh, on the way and, over. Well, the problem is all the adrenaline from the first breaking in wears off. And then right. it's like, I don't know if I have another break in in me. Uh, and, and something leaps out at you right away. Oh, God, don't let me around. Figuratively. Or a cat. Okay. Uh, as you Meow. pull up, Jeremy's like, well, that's something you don't see every day, eh? And on in front of the house is one of those sandwich board signs. And in chalk, it says, see the death room, six pence. The death room? I have a death mask. I'll wear it into the death <laughs> it's room. Connected. It's connected. It's all connected. It's all connected. And, Amazing. And then taped to that, on on a um, on a on a piece of paper, it just says "room to let." <laughs> <laughs> the death room. <laughs> this is so mysterious. I love this. Are any lights on inside? Uh, no, not at midnight. I didn't figure. Right. I mean, but when else are you gonna go see a death room? I mean, tomorrow is a perfectly good answer to that question. <laughs> When do you see death rooms? When else are you going to see a death room? <laughs> Jeremy, are there any um, accommodations nearby that you know of? So we don't have to go all the way back to the... To... Well, not the palace. Of course not. No, just anywhere to stay for. If it's, it seems like they're not open right now. I'd prefer to just go back to the hotel if we're, gonna, if we're not going to go in tonight. Mm. It seems like it's a public... Thing that they we so, can come so in. So if it's a public thing, then let's come back tomorrow. I, that's what I'd say. All right, so you head back to the hotel. You have a nice <laughs> night's sleep. I take a bath. You take a <laughs> lovely bath. <laughs> I do. Uh, in so the morning. Uh -oh. the hell out of Not lives. another one. Uh oh. Oh no. Man oh. disappears in cloud of smoke. Spontaneous human combustion. <laughs> Link to triple murder's case. <gasps> There's a question mark there. <clears throat> yes, not just the Swiss <laughs> accent. Oh, God. People, are, uh, police are, are today investigating the disappearance of one Mr. Henry Stanley, 41, of, Sto of Stoke Newington, who was reported missing last night by his landlady, Mrs. Constant, Constance Atkins. I'm so sorry. We missed the perfect window well, break. Well, you'll see, though. <laughs> um... Are we listed she on their assignment? <laughs> 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 Somehow the book knew. Uh, she alleges that she heard a cry from Mr. Stanley's upstairs room at 8 o'clock. Oh. oh, we were. Yeah, yeah we, we, we missed it anyway. We, we did, did miss it by hours. He did not answer to her <laughs> knocking. And when she opened the door, the room was full of smoke and there was no sign of him. Bum, bum, bum. Mm, quiet. <laughs> no. Mr. Stanley is not married. <laughs> oh, there's, no, there's more. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Mr. Stanley's oh, not married. Oh, he is a noted train enthusiast. Oh, and no. a member of the London Train Spotter Association. It's all connected. <laughs> it's a cult. His disappearance may be a case of spontaneous human combustion. Hmm. Police have reported comments on this. Similar cases have been reported in England earlier this century. Century. It's only 23 years so far in the century. Oh. So as common as jousting. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's more common than jousting. I don't believe what they say. That's they nonsense. still do it a little they're, bit. They're just ashamed. They're hiding the secret jousting. Secret jousting. It only happens at midnight. <laughs> the most recent, the most recent known of the spontaneous human combustions was that of Mr. J. Temple Thurston who burned to death in his home in Dartford, Kent, in 1919. Oh, that's not too long ago. It was only four years ago. It has been revealed that a model train set found on the scene had been purchased last week from the shop of Mehet Mekriach. I hate that name. <laughs> that child's toy may have caused the fire. Readers may recall that three bodies all identified as Mr. Macriette were found earlier this week in a Chelsea hotel room. Police have not ruled out the possibility of a link between the two cases. We do remember that. 
Mm -hmm. we, we remember that, <laughs> we yeah. Remember. Vividly. Even Reggie remembers that. <clears throat> Back to the death house? Ah, I'd say so. Now that it's well, now that's, one. yes, yeah, yeah, man. new management. Well, there's a landlady, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, she was not slow to, to put out the, the, the room for Let's on. <laughs> Yeah, was that? that, that I guess it was him. It might have been. Have gone up and knocked it in. <laughs> she would have let it out. Then um, you just spent the night there. Yes, we we approached the. All right, yeah. You, Re Reggie's like, oh, back to. Uh, did you read in the paper? <laughs> what, Isn't it what a, just so strange? What a peculiar event. How how'd you know? We didn't. Wow. It's strange. Yeah. Don't okay. tell it's... anyone, Jemmy. Jemmy, it just seems like things are happening to us. Uh, and we must ride this train, if you know what I'm saying. Let's say I do. <laughs> well, before we left, though, didn't we have a chance to snoop through all this mail? And yeah, yeah, you go. So the mail is all bills that haven't been paid. Ooh. Garbage. Yeah, the Garbage. mail is all bills. Uh, the account book uh, has everything is like super boring and not, and, and, you know, there's no information there except. Uh, the train is listed as the train set. Explosive train. <laughs> Death train. Yeah, it's a train Dude. of doom Murder train. train. Hey, uh, it's the name of the episode. Uh, we made it. We so always that, make it right at the end. <laughs> it's uh, about, uh, about six months ago, he bought this train set from one, it, he call, it says one Wrightson special commission train set purchased from the estate of Randolph Alexis. And then, last week, one Wrightson Special Commission train set delivered to a Mr. Henry Stanley, Stoke Newington, for one pound. For a pound? Wow. Custom made? So this guy bought this train set. Right, for, for a pound. pound. That seems Which, a light. pound is a lot of money. Oh, is it? Yeah. So I've just been- You've been throwing around a lot of yeah, money. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. Flip night, yeah. not even counting it. Flip night. What okay. a great word. So, uh... Viewers will recommend uh, that. We, well, do we want to go to the source? Anybody with a cult skill can roll me a cult. I have a little right, bit. I have a base. Sheet, but it's one of those, like, oh, flavor. <clears throat> if I oh, have I finally five. rolled bad. <laughs> you can roll, yeah, you can. Yeah, you got a puncher's chance. Um, I finally rolled bad. Can I use a... Not... Did you fumble? No. no. Oh, darn it. But I might uh, if I use a coin. She would like... Yeah. Would anyone like to second? For a fumble? Yeah. Oh, I might oh, fumble. So I might fun. fumble. No, but I still I saw the nine and got excited. Yeah. Did anybody make the roll? No. All right. Not that kind of team. <laughs> so <laughs> Not an occult team. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 put, I, I put some points into yeah. it. I considered giving giving Charlie uh, a cult and went, nah. So uh, how, how far away uh, was is the It's about uh, 45 minutes. Oh, the maker is... Uh, what's the name? Like, why we start like the the guy who would tell us anything is dead. Ritson, the, the Ritson Special and... Commission train set. Uh, so it was built. Well, you don't know much about toy trains. Hmm. It's one of my weaknesses. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gal. It's a blind but spot. We have, we have like the who did it, the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some you also have the Toy Train Society of England. Jeez. Oh. I'm not dealing with those. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Look, uh, they, they, they know what they history, did. Yeah. Look, uh, there's nerds, when, when and was, then there's nerds. <laughs> when it was my darkest hour. <laughs> oh, did you get really into trains for a little bit? No, no, that's when they, <laughs> they abandoned him. <laughs> uh, so the sign is still out there. See the death room, six pence. There's oh. not a line. Oh, but we should see the death room. Oh, we should see the death room. Oh, oh yes, we did. Uh, you ring the bell, and uh, Mrs. Atkins, call me Connie. Uh, Hello, Connie. Connie is one of those people who is in a uh, dressing gown and hair curlers, no matter when you see her. <laughs> uh, and uh, she is. Oh, can I help you? I'm wearing the death mask. Uh, we're oh, here to see the death room. Yeah, we're fans. Oh. We're fans of the death room. Oh, well, I see. Okay, well, six pence a piece. I give her Can a... be managed Yeah, you, you don't actually know what six yeah, pence is. What? That doesn't sound real. I give oh. her a five pound note. <laughs> like, oh, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me tell you, it was ever so strange. Uh, he was a nice man, Mr. Stanley. Quiet. 
Who's talked about Mr. Stanley? We didn't ask. Him. Yeah, what? No! Who? You want to see the death room? Yeah, give us yeah, the, the full room. spiel. Oh, that's, you that's, paid! That's oh, what... it's the room he died in. I thought it was a room uh, themed after death. Honey. Feel so interested. Thank you. Thank you. Don't so worry about him. Yes. That, that, she's like disappointed that her patter has been like, she's clearly said this like sure. several times. I'll, I'll like look appropriately spooked. <laughs> Ooh, uh, they're a little touch. Don't mind them. <laughs> you know, well, uh, where was I? Go on. Uh, so strange. Uh, quiet type. Uh, <laughs> always are strange. Like my husband, he, my husband was like that. My gym. Uh, and uh, she, she pulls out a binder. Here's a photo. I always keep photos of my lodgers. That, uh, that's Mr. Stanley. Very nice man. Does he Didn't... look like anyone we've seen before? No. Okay. <laughs> Tell me his mustache situation. <laughs> yeah. There's, he, is, he is clean shaven. Oh. Um, in the kidding. picture, he looks very unsure. <laughs> like, it's a, why are you taking my picture picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I've taken a lot of those. <laughs> well, he came home at four o'clock in time for tea. He was excited because he'd just purchased a new train set. Imagine a man of his age. Hmm. No accounting for taste. He went upstairs at seven, and I guess to play with his train. Uh, and uh, he couldn't. He, I, I would have seen him if he'd left the house. Didn't leave the house at all. Uh, and I was uh, I was reading the latest issue of Silver Screen Stars. Mm. Oh, that Barrymore. Oh. Mm. <laughs> uh, and then I heard him cry out, and there was a, a sort of a rumble through the house. It's what I imagine one of them earthquakes feels like. Saw one of those in a newsreel once. Exciting. Uh, mm. And I, I ran up and I knocked right mm. away and told him to keep it down, but he was uh, he was gone. And the room was full of smoke. The window was closed, bolted from the inside. Really did terrible things to my drapes. Could you explain your drapes? What did it do to them? Make them smell like smoke. Oh. Do you know uh, what kind of smoke it smelled like? You know, like there's wood smoke and coal smoke and... There all, is? They all smell a little different. <laughs> Smell like smoke. Does it smell? Still smell like smoke. Yeah. But we could smell it for ourselves. Maybe it'll oh, yeah. smell like. Uh, well, anyway. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Reggie's still thinking about uh, Doctor Smith. Maybe it's human smoke. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> you terrify me, sir. <laughs> Listen. Um, we would love to look at it, Connie. Oh, oh well, all right then. Come on. Uh, and uh, she like sort of buzzes about you as she takes you up. Uh, it is a very uh, small room, uh, and there's a bed, there's a chair, there's a little desk, and uh, it is a, uh, there's a sink, but a commute, the, 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 the loo is communal, as is the shower, although not communal, I shouldn't say that, you know. Uh, oh, of course right. not, yes. Uh, I only have the one room. Uh, do you need a place to stay, any of you? <laughs> No. <laughs> We've had like, multiple offers recently. <laughs> uh, the room is full of books and pictures Ooh. about railways, trains. Uh, there are um, history books of trains, uh, picture books of trains. Oh, um, are there any books about the Orient Express? Ooh. Yes. Yes, That's there are. Good question. Uh, well, it's, as you, you so know, you, we're going to go on that train. And you like go, trains. You train go to the bookshelf train. and you kind of run your finger along and soot comes off of your finger. Oh, my God. Stanley's right here. Say Wait. hello. <laughs> uh, and and now you see it. There are dark, sooty streaks along the ceiling from northwest to southeast in a straight line. Are the directions important? Probably. Yes, deeply. Remember them. I mean, soot streaks, <laughs> northeast, southwest, uh, and the um, the wallpaper has bubbles under it, like it had been steamed. Oh wow! Oh, it must have Very gotten hot. quite hot in here. Yeah. What was there anything that's been left out that he would might have been? Uh, I'm looking around. Yeah, I'm when you look you around, she says, "Oh, uh, the the coppers took the train set." That's uh, unfortunate. Uh, 
It was the only electrical thing in the room. They figure that's what caused the fire. Ah. So there was a fire? Well, I... <laughs> right, but, but was there anything that was burnt in here? Well, there's, there's soot all over the place, and there's those markings in the ceiling. And look, you can see it in the carpet. Okay, that's what I was going to say. That's not coming out. No. So there's a no. big black spot. There, uh... <laughs> a scorch mark? Let's say everybody make me... Actually, no, you... You are from a railroad family. Right. <laughs> These marks true. are railroad gauge apart. <gasps> Two long lines railroad gauge apart. Ooh. Not like model railroad gauge apart, like yeah, real yeah, yeah, train. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, you guys have never seen this before. <laughs> uh -huh. You've never right? seen Reggie know something. So I'm like looking at it. I think he might burn out the wire in his brain. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just staring at the floor, and I've stopped talking. Uh huh. Damn. Is, and I've stopped moving because uh -huh. I'm a human. Golden Retriever, right? So, like, I, <laughs> I'm so glad you I'm said just it. always like, oh, 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 right? But here I'm just like, it's become uncomfortably silent. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> uh, Reggie seems to be having a thing. Give him time. <laughs> He's not used to it. It's a train. Not just a train. It's a. It's a real. He was hit by a train. <laughs> he was. He, he, he. he was hit by a train. That would account for the rumble. It, these marks are of, I probably don't know the, the. Yeah, you, you, you don't have, yeah, you don't know the but, technical term, but like, that's, a, those are train tracks. These are train tracks. The, where's the, uh, Connie, where's the nearest train? Oh, well, the station's about a half mile away. And, and where does it go directionally? Well, that's the commuter into London. Is it the same direction as the northeast to southwest or whatever? I don't know. Okay. Well, in any case. Connie, do you, the noise you heard, did it remind you at all of a train going by? I suppose. I mean, it wasn't that loud, but maybe, sure. Yeah. Hmm. You can add this to your spiel when you tell people about it. I, I don't think anybody's gonna believe that he was hit by a train in his own room. Connie. But it's, it's about how you sell it, Connie. Connie, how much <laughs> do you know about Turkey? <laughs> the, 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 well, it's usually a little dry because most people can't cook it right. The country, not the food. There's a country called Turkey? Uh -huh. Recent. Nothing, great, wonderful. <laughs> um, but you see, the trick is the basting. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've heard brining works as well. Um, I don't know what to tell you all, but coming from a railway family, I Are know. you coppers? No, we are just interested individuals. Oh. Well, you, if you, you can speak, uh, 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 you can speak to the constable. He took the train set. Which constable? Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, friend of yours. Does he oh, everybody knows Jimmy. Last name? Salt of the earth, old Jim. Does he have a last name? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Connie. I, I, maybe? Probably? I'm a most, most, he's yeah. just Jimmy. Yes, yes. We'll say that Connie sent us. Oh, yeah. Tell him he should pop by for a pie. Can I buy this book about the Orient Express <laughs> from you? Uh, uh, y sure, yeah. Here's another fiver. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Oh, I, it's a train. <laughs> it is. Uh, yes, we need to go uh, investigate this. She cleans it off for you. Oh, that's very kind. Yes, get all the Stanley off. I, uh, <laughs> I may be jumping to conclusions. I've left the room. Connie yeah, yeah, is not yeah, with yeah. us. Let, we're going. Yeah, you head out. Yeah, we're heading out. Yeah. I may be jumping to conclusions. In fact, I think I probably am. But I might be jumping to the same conclusion. But if go this on. is a haunting, they can be physical, and they can appear at random places. But if it hit him, randomly, or not randomly, on it was purpose. A ghost train. It could be attracted to the train set. To the, the Turk train. gave him a a doomed train. A doomed train. A train that is doomed. I mean, if, if we're working off this idea that the, that the hauntings are real, then maybe it's keyed to an atom, and 
people, people who have it. Dr. Smith had the slides. These things are real. I don't know why we're questioning it. He himself, a debunker, couldn't debunk these things. And one of them was a boat. And one of them was a boat. I mean, that didn't have a physical presence, but he said that some do. And maybe one of them's a train. Up on the second floor? It was, a, it was the second floor? Up on the second floor, We though. need to see this model train, because I believe it's haunted. Are we trying to get hit by a ghost train? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, no, <clears throat> but maybe. Um, well, we could Any talk to Jimmy. We must talk to Jimmy. <laughs> we simply must talk to Jimmy. So we'll we'll start asking around for people who are like in this area about where this constable Jimmy might oh, be. Oh, they'll point you to the local uh, the local county office. Mm. It's very close. Excellent. Uh, and Shall we? there uh, there you meet uh, Constable Lethwich. Left. <laughs> Jimmy Lethwich. We know. Yes. Uh, he prefers, no wonder she he prefers didn't Jim. Ah. Uh, we'll say that Connie sent us. Ah, oh, Connie. <laughs> She's a good one. She says pie. You should come by Ooh. for pie, yeah? Yes, please. <laughs> Constable, um... A turkey. May I call you Jimmy? You... Okay. We are train enthusiasts, and we are here to uh, investigate the, uh, the model train that was re uh, connected to this murder. Oh, perhaps uh, we are part murder? of that society. Oh, the this, death. This death. The death. Uh, well, uh, that was a lot. Um, <laughs> uh, people usually say that around him, yeah. Uh, you, I can tell you that uh, we investigated the room and the only possible cause of any sort of ignition was this train set. Right. Uh, which we found... Uh, after checking with an electrician, that the voltage was insufficient to, call, to cause electrocution. But to be absolutely sure, we passed the set off to uh, uh, an expert from the London Train Spotters Association. <laughs> no. Rudolph has uh, history. <laughs> the president, uh, Mr. Arthur Butter. <laughs> Arthur Butter? So he's president now. <laughs> 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 um, you've been very helpful, Jimmy. Thank you. Uh, of course, yes. Well, uh, and we, if you come up with any information about Mr. Stanley's whereabouts, we're reasonably sure that he, uh, scarpered off, snuck out the window, so, if you will. So... Started a little fire as a distraction and scarpered out the window. Probably, okay. you know, maybe had a woman somewhere Why or maybe... Do that, yes. For, for, or the drama, maybe. Or the drama. He's, there was an he's awful, addicted to the drama. <laughs> there was an awful lot of soot in there for a little fire. B may well be. Hmm. But mm. that could be, you know, any number of stage tricks. Yeah, well, you know, you find in my line of work, this sort of thing has a way of working itself yeah, out. But Jimmy, why in the paper did they say that he, he was spontaneously combusted then? Well, you can't believe anything you read in the paper. Oh, tell me about it. The things that have been written about my family. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Most of them Charlie, true. Charlie. Uh, Most of them true. You're one of the good ones. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I, I was unaware there were good ones. No, uh, well, uh, thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> You've been very helpful. I hope you get good pie later. And uh, we will hit up. <laughs> <laughs> if it is, she doesn't know. Uh, I, Erna doesn't know. I wish Jimmy the best. <laughs> <laughs> My answer is not touching that one. So, I ship Jimmy. So we have gone. now established that you know I <laughs> London. <laughs> not really, but not yeah, sure. Yeah, you do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and 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 apparently you and Arthur Butter do not see eye to eye. No. Have history. <laughs> Got beef. So, Butter's got beef. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Jimmy will give you Butter's home address. Oh, that's so nice of him. That's very kind. He's been very helpful. I go to give him a fiber and everyone no, stops. No, no, no. <laughs> everyone Jimmy, stops. Jimmy's me. like, oh, please, I know. that's quite all right. Just doing my job. Much appreciated. 
I come from a tipping culture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other places are civilized. <laughs> uh, it's it's in um, it's it's in town, so you you can head to Mr. Butter. Oh, uh, he's nearby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's not a doctor. I was no, 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 Dr. Not, Butter. Doctor, not Dr. Butter. <laughs> can we take the train there? Uh, Jeremy's like, I'm right here. No, <laughs> we got to his um, we have, we, we, we've, we've booked him for the day. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he'll he'll. He says, uh, can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> Rudolph, what did you Mr. do? Butter. You have a lot of nerve. Uh, oh. um. I still remember what you did to that classic 1916 Bellevue Express model, of which 37 were made. Now... Because of you, only 36. Your past <laughs> is an enigma. We're gonna do a different flashback to this. <laughs> <laughs> the coke fueled bender. Like, he thinks, no, 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 you, you asked me to make a perfect replica. And I delivered. You disassembled the entire actual you model. You didn't give me a chance to put it back together. You, you distracted. This is on you. This is on you. Mr. Potter, we're, um, obviously we're enthusiasts and we've- Obviously. Uh, we've we've come to make recompense. Uh, our associate oh, Randolph- Oh, you? Yes. Oh, have we? Yes, we have. <laughs> we've come to make recompense, obviously, um, by, uh, first of all, apologizing Oh, oh, Rudolph. Well, that would be a first. <laughs> Rudolph. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Rudolph. I uh, didn't catch uh, that. Apologizing, Rudolph. So that we can get what we need, Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> you won't talk about your past and sometimes it comes and bites you in the ass, Rudolph. <laughs> Apologize for how the situation. That is not a true apology. That, that is, is not is a real apology. I am. This gentleman is right. Very I am right. Only oh, sometimes. Sorry that you can't see reason. Oh. <laughs> That's not a real apology, you. Rudolph. Mr. Butter, please, it is urgent. There have been exactly three people that have been banned <laughs> from the London Train Spotters <laughs> Association. And he, he is the latest. You, sir, are banned. Go, go wait in the car. Right? <laughs> banned. Randolph, go wait in the car. Mr. Butter, are you Rand familiar Rand with Stir? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got it right. Um, are you familiar with the Sterling Railway Incorporated? Of I, America? Uh, yes, I've heard of it. A fine, uh, you know, American trains, and he starts going into like way too much detail of course, about of course. the narrower gauge. Yes. So like, the no. America can't buy English trains. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's fascinating. Um, I just so happen to have access to um, uh, some fairly rare models of uh, of various Sterling Line trains. Would that be? An interest to you, yes. perhaps? Yes, wonderful. Yes. Well, I have to say, I am Reginald Sterling of the Sterling family, and um, I would love well, to- It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. <laughs> and you, of course. Uh, your uh, society is uh, well known. Well, we're very proud. We're, you know, we, we try and do what we can. Now, I've, I've heard of a very uh, interesting um, anomaly, uh, a train that seems to have set somebody on fire. Oh, oh, you mean the Wrighton? That yeah, is what that I was mean. a bit of yes. work. Poor, poor Henry. Yes. He, was, he was a good man. Yes, he was. Loved trains. Long time as we member all do. of the association. Right, of course. So, a personal friend? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, we heard that you might have access to the model that he. Well, it's, look, it was a beautiful set once, but it's, 
sadly, it's in rather poor taste. The, um, it depicts an actual train that was wrecked in 97. Uh, on, I think, the, uh, the Liverpool run, uh, with great loss of life. Interesting. Has he admitted he's wrong yet? <laughs> Shut up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, like, open the window, throw a pen down, <laughs> and close it again. Um, Take a lap, Uncle Woody. Take a lap. This is, fascin <laughs> this is fascinating. And, uh, 18, uh, when was the wreck? 18, uh, 1897. 1897. 1897, um, I yes. imagine. Yes. Uh, Liverpool. Um, Mr. Butter, uh, we would be ever so grateful to inspect this particular model, um, for, uh, historical accuracies. In exchange, I would love to send you a model of uh, oh, you're one very of our kind. finest. He gives you his card and he says, "Come with me into the into the basement, into the basement." Um, and uh, if, bye, Rudolph. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, knowing you, Rudolph. This is where they all die. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, we see a flayed man. It's his temple all over again. No. no. Uh, you uh, um, you come down. The basement is like model train chaos. Mm -hmm. There's just train sets everywhere. Toot toot. Uh, and he, he goes over to a work table and he says, yeah, it's just, it's a shame. This was at one time a beautiful model, but they, it's all, somebody scrawled all over it, that, that nonsense. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't read, but I'm sure my <laughs> compatriots would be able to uh, interpret. They, uh, um, he, he shows you the train set, uh, and it is mounted on a hardwood board. So it's about a, you know, four foot long by two foot long. It's, it's quite large. Mm. And it is a, it's a weirdly twisted figure eight pattern, the track that is at points elevated to almost appear like that, um, uh, the infinity Ouroboros. symbol or whatever, yeah. you know, that like kind of slides under itself. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no scenery, but a series of ramps that alter the elevation. Mobius strip. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Um, a, a, the, the, there's a new battery in the train. It's a small brown and black train in the style of the 1890s with two wooden metal coaches, a massive black engine and a tender. Um, each has a different serial number and is different in tiny, small ways. But what he will point out to you is um, that uh, on the bottom of each of the cars are weird figures, uh, symbols that he's like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe some child or something scribbled on it. Oh, it's such a shame. Uh, do, it's do, such a nice model. Do you mind if I have a look? Of course, of course. And Charlie will start copying the symbols. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure. Um, he says, um, would you like to take the train? Oh. I don't need, this is not, it's, um, A, it reminds me of poor Henry. Of course. And, and B, uh, it, um, it's, I, I have, Many other models that are of uh, pristine condition. Well, thank you. You're very kind, <gasps> Mr. Sterling. Yes. May I impose upon you? We have tomorrow night the annual association dinner. Oh. And we, I would, it would mean so much to our members if you could come and speak. Uh, I have very little to do with the. Uh... Certainly. Uh, oh. I'm sorry, what was your first name again? I've been calling you Mr. Butter. Oh, Arthur. 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 Dude, call me Art. Art, of course. Um, of I'd course, love, most of your to. friends would be welcome. Oh. <laughs> we are all enthusiasts. I mean... After all. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> Erna can't hide her. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my poor uncle. How can I... How can I... Build this relationship back. <laughs> yes. Uncle seems lonely. He needs one. We would, we would love to come to your dinner. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, uh, look, and he pulls out a thing and he says, here's three tickets. Oh, more tickets. Those Great. are normally a quid. Here, I'll, here, I'll hold on to them. Thank you. 
So you could buy them? My man would Any take Any random person them. could buy a ticket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we we get look. It's a what? It is quite a party. Let me tell you, oh, the yes. London Train so Smarters it's crowded, Association. And you might not know everyone there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's <laughs> it's you know we have over thirty members. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Oh, amazing. Ah, <laughs> oh, you must be so proud. Well, we do what we can. Yes, because we must. Yes. 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 Mm. Uh, well, it, this is. It was so wonderful to meet oh, you, and oh, lovely to meet the you. gentleman will be so excited to know that you will be coming to speak at the dinner. The gentleman? Yes, the other members of the club. Oh, it's all men. Of course it's all men. Yeah, of course it's all men. <laughs> uh, I don't understand. <laughs> Nothing to. Um, <laughs> Art, uh, let's maybe keep it a surprise, shall we? Oh. A grand reveal. I, I, uh, I suppose, yes. Yes, I, he, let's just keep it between us for now. Of course. He failed his psychology role. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow night. And we'll just go ahead and take this. And uh, take this off your hands. Yes, yes, of course, thank and you. And I'll be sending, uh, what model train would you like from the, the Sterling line? Well. 20 he, minutes later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like listing every train and saying, but then, oh, but for historical significance, and he Man, like I goes thought on. I was a nerd. How about, <laughs> this, <laughs> next level. Like I How about this? Just send a telegram to uh, the home office and uh, they'll take care of it for you. <sighs> That's oh, very exciting. Wonderful. Very exciting. Awesome. And do me a favor. <laughs> anything, you, Art, for you, anything. You tell that Bastard. <laughs> that if he takes one step into the gala, that he has done so much to ruin. Yeah, no, right, yes. <laughs> Just sure. the one model. He will see. <laughs> he will see words put to action. <gasps> I, I can tell that you it, you take this very seriously. And I appreciate, for one, I appreciate it. Um, well, that got... man will not come to your gala. <laughs> well, that's called foreshadowing. <laughs> Please don't put a big mustache on me. A really big mustache. <laughs> Do I need to challenge him to a duel? <laughs> I think you might. would probably A win. train race. Oh, no. A train joust. Oh! oh. You're going to ruin our medals. <laughs> As thrilling as it might be to visit the Association Gala tonight, friends, we have reached <gasps> the end of oh another no. episode. Oh no. So the cliffhanger is, does Rudy come to the gala dinner? The train spotter The train gala. spotter gala. I'm gonna fix up that burnt little mama <laughs> so amazingly. I'll show them all. <laughs> Yeah, who cares about the flayed man? We're just gonna focus on the train yeah, and the train collector. Yeah. We have yes. very specific needs and a very specific focuses. And by we, I mean Rudolph. Uh, so, uh, uh, let's see, our quotes from today are, this is my worried face. <laughs> you like books, don't you? I talk to almost murderers every day. And mostly red tea. <laughs> I don't want to get kicked out of the British Museum, uh. which really begged for an again. <laughs> again. Uh, the, the best quote ever. So nothing about the statue then. I love that. <laughs> we so died. Uh, when else are you going to visit a death room? And are we trying to get hit by a ghost train? I like that one a lot. That was good. Hopefully not. Friends, thank Fair you enough. so much for joining us. We will be back next weekend for, you know, what what could be more exciting than a gala association dinner? Right. I for mean, trains. Model for trains. trains. Just imagine, trains. Reggie's going to show up in overalls. <gasps> <laughs> maybe, maybe my denim tuxedo. <laughs> yeah, go Canadian. You're what? Go full, full Canadian. Uh, <laughs> Patreons, we will be right back to do uh, uh, Cthulhu After Dark. But for everybody else, uh, thank you so much again for watching Quest and Cast. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and follow our channel for all of the awesome content that we have going. Uh, and we will see you next time. Goodbye, Bye. internet friends. Oh, nice. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs>